Hi. How are you? Welcome in. How you going, Lego? How's life going? Um, I realized that I didn't adjust my Spotify music. <laughs> so I might be really loud all of a sudden. But hi. How are you? We're on. Yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. Great. I'm like, we're definitely on YouTube, right? I'm on the right spot. Great. <laughs> it's one of those days. It has been one of those days. I'm very chipmunky tonight, aren't I? What's going on? Oh, it's my stiff. <laughs> it's my scarf. Fair enough. Monkey, hi, welcome. Sassy eyes, do you like it? The eyeliner kept going. You got me on a cre creative night, so um, yay. Something different, something a bit of fun. Should I keep playing with makeup? I'm tempted to. I'm tempted to have different sort of looks and start progressively getting more adventurous. Thanks, Lego. We're in 2023 and Peter's dancing like it's 2043. <laughs> like a mum mum dancing <laughs> how are you both how is your weeks treating you what is new what's the 411 tell me everything um of course i did need to i didn't need to i decided to we're doing hufflepuff so i had to do what's put the but the lello and then the black and the stuff on my face you still need a <laughs> When you put it in quotation marks, my dear Lego, how could I not? Oh, I was just disappointed. <laughs> I'm gonna go through your bits and comment for your metrics. Oh, you're so sweet, monkey. Thank you. Every time I see a comment, I'm like, sometimes that like I can't comment on it or I forget to or whatever, but I really appreciate it. NPC stream. It's getting like that, isn't it? It really, really is. And you know what? No judgment. <laughs> We're getting to that point where it's just like, well, if that's what you gotta do, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? It is what it is. Let me adjust some of this stuff here, hey? Shall we? Interesting. Still working out how I want to... Oh, what if I do it that way? Oh, that's an idea. I'm still working out how I want to do... Um, whoa. Whoops, a daze. Let's try that again. And then I can chuck you down here. I'm a fan. Sick. Nice. Let's see how this goes anyway. Um... That's stupid. I'm just adjusting my second monitor because um Whatever, we're gonna do it this way. I'm still working out how I want that laid out. I've got it pretty good for Twitch, but for um the YouTube, still working my head around it. It's still new territory for me to stream here, so but I'm loving it. I love being here, it's a lot of fun. Is it too dark? Is my lighting too dark? Should I brighten myself up? Let me know. Let me know. I will adjust accordingly. Been busy with got Quince! Hi! How are you? Welcome, welcome in. How have you been? How's your day going? Been busy with calls this week. No actual work, just calls. Oh, really? Do bear with me. I've got a light headache. It's nothing to worry about. I just didn't get my afternoon nap because I have to go into the office today. And I've been napping every day this week and it's been really freaking good. I've been exercising more, you know? I've been eating well and all that. Bear with me while I eat a cookie. I'm good, thank you, Quint. I'm glad to hear you're well. Background's a little mysterious. Okay, no, that's all good. Background doesn't bother me too much as long as you can see my face. I recently got a new light, so I'm still working out what's the best lighting and general setup and stuff to do. Everything's new. It's all happening. Let me also put this on vibrate. So I don't get unnecessary music. Oh, and I'll also 
Look at me. Look at me. I'm actually just missing my 9.30 alarm so it doesn't go off this time. I know. I know. I'm just that good. It's a square. <laughs> I had a ring before. Bad! How are you, my dear? Feed on the vibrate when I join figures. Well, you know. I just had this, um... Instinct, right? <laughs> this sixth sense. I went, hmm, Bear should be joining any time now. <laughs> Who is she? I know! I know! I'm just on top of it. I'm too good. I have so many drinks around me right now. I have a hot tea, obviously. Harry Potter, appropriate. I have iced coffee and I have cold water. I need a bit of everything, you know. <laughs> More is on vibrate. Well, no, I'm not going there. <laughs> my ring, my, my. Um, ring light was, it's fine. It works really well. I just prefer this one. I wanted something that, that diffused a bit more. My ring light's just a bit too, too strong. It's only one ring I'm interested in most of the time. Would that be a wooden ring? Have you seen that was a legitimate question because I've seen some really cool like men's wooden rings lately with resin. They are so cool. Change my mind. They are so freaking cool. No? Oh, well then I have no idea what kind of ring you're thinking of, Bear. Or do I? Still a family friendly ish channel. Ish. Sort of. Oh, I used to love tracing paper in front of a light. Isn't a wife tail wrap the ring halo? Oh, a wife tail to wrap the ring halo in clear film to diffuse the light. Yes, that can help. That can help. I just, yeah. Okay, so my old ring light, I've still got it sitting here. Have I gotten it out properly? I don't know if I have. Bear with me, you're gonna get nice up close and personal with my desk. <laughs> sorry, sorry, let me just... Okay, this will do. This is my old light. I usually put like tissues around things to diffuse light, um, but it was just too big to um for a tissue or tissues oh, sorry sorry just gonna get a little up close and personal here again my bad don't mind me just enjoy what you can get while you have it great <laughs> <laughs> you're the crap funeral it's always why why is it on my mods why is it like they okay. This is how my mods go, right? They come into my chat, they hang out for a bit. I'm like, hey, you're pretty cool. Do you feel like you've got like a good head on your shoulders? They're like, Tiki, yeah, I'm really cool. You should like totally make me mod because on this particular stream you're having issues with other people and you you From my personal experience, I had no idea how to work the mod modification stuff. So I just sort of sat there with <laughs> really mean things in my chat. And then they go, hey, um, they'll send me a little whisper and say, hey, look, just put me mod for this stream and I'll help you out for a little bit. And I just forget to take them off board and then they mod forever. But every single one of my mods, they always start off like, oh, I'm really nice. And then they become this and they're like, I can't wait to corrupt Peter. And I'm like, well, <laughs> why, why is it, you know, they say trust the nice guys. These are the nice guys. <laughs> you guys did the uwu fingers always. <laughs> It's your constant state. It's not. I'm kidding. None of them would either do, ever do that. 
but it's it's funny to me to imagine them like that. <laughs> Uh, tissues will be good. I, yeah, I often use tissues to diffuse if it's a really strong light. I used to use it um, back at a previous house when I used to film self tapes and things like that, auditions and whatnot. Um, I had really strong overhead lights and I would get up on my chair, my spinny swivelly. I'm not the safest person. I used to <laughs> get on my chair and sticky tape um, tissues over my lights on the ceilings because I couldn't dim them or anything, so would highly recommend. What the manufacturers of both these lights? Well, I can actually send, actually I'm going to put it on my, you know how Throne has a wish list and a storefront? I'm going to put this light on my storefront um, so you can see, you can buy the exact same one. Um, the first one that I've got, I don't remember the manufacturer, I got it as a present and the other one I got off Amazon for $50 or something but I'll send it power corrupt does chat is a reflection of the streamer <gasps> excuse me stop it no <laughs> yeah self tapes um Self tapes are auditions. Thank you very much. If you have big bright lights, a thin bed sheet, it could. If they're bright enough, they it could, but you need to be able to hold it there. And it's way too heavy for sticky tape. Like I was using this sticky tape. It wasn't anything special. Just cello tape. I just throw the band hammer at rent. Oh, I couldn't mod as I struggle. That sale would be. Yeah, it's it's hard sometimes. <laughs> bad. You're like, ah, bad news. Well, actually, he has done that to Angie before. So, have you banned Pip yet? I think you and Pip had a little bit of a faff back and forth. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. I don't think, no. I push me. You know what else is funny about all my mods? All except one are in the UK. I think that's funny. Because it's like the worst time for you guys. It's not the worst, it's not great. Here's she a boyfriend to hold up the sheets. Just constantly, like the whole, like, during my stream, like, turn on these lights so he has to stand there and hold it for six, seven hours. <laughs> Hilarious idea. I don't think I, I have enough money to buy him enough coffees for that. <laughs> I know you guys do. I love you guys. You guys are amazing. I... You know, every streamer says this, but, you know, I'm actually honest um, and I definitely have some of the best mods on. I can only say on all of YouTube because I don't watch YouTube streamers. So <laughs> I have the best mods on all of YouTube. Lego and Bear would probably um, say they've got the best mods on all of Twitch. So. Hey, monkey, that's a good point. Hold on. Why are you trying to turn it on me? Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna wait to see. Oi. Has it been bad lately, huh? I'm gonna start getting to the game. Where's my other stuff? Okay. I have everything sorted, I promise. Oh, we're good. I got. <laughs> <laughs> Quinn's Etsy is, I kid you not. Um, Etsy's a drug. It's bad. It's a bad addiction, you know? I mean, let me know if it's too loud, you know, the drill. 
Miss Cat, why isn't this working? Uh oh. Yay! What? I swear I've asked about that before. My camera is frozen? That's a great freeze, I gotta say. Okay, so that's okay. That's right, we'll just stare like that and see awesome. who notices. Oh, yes, the greenhouse <laughs> won't keep itself in order without a nudge from me. Yo, it's great! Now I gotta adjust all my settings again. Bear with me while I fix my settings. I go here, I turn this off, fix this, and then I turn this off, fix this, and then I adjust this one over here. I adjust this one over here and I fix this. And then I adjust this one over here, fixes this, and then I do this one just a little bit, little bit here, nice and washed out. Whoa, whoa, you went a little too far there, didn't you? Yes, you did. But I counter it with a little bit of this one. That's a little too much of that one. I feel like I need... Bear with me, children. Ooh, what's this one? Oh, it doesn't move. Sick. AJ! <laughs> Hello, welcome! You, uh... You came at the, at the right time. Um, everything's going funky, because, you know, that's what streams do. This is, this is you know, it's a fun part, right? It's a fun part of streaming. Just make sure I've got everything on the right settings. Because I've messed up a couple of things already. Whoa, that's a little too that's a little too OP, Peter. Relax, chill, chill out. Alright. Um new light means new settings means I need to get used to new things. How exciting. Am I bright enough that I need to be brighter? How are we going? Let me know. Let me know, children. Let me adjust myself proper. Go back to the other woman. Is that better? And yeah, she was frowning too. Is that better? <laughs> Might as well just ban me, Bear, at this point. Goodness! Monkey, are you cool? You know what's really funny? I sat, after you like popped in briefly, all week I've been thinking about you going, do you know me from Twitch or Instagram or someone else? Or, um, did you find me through YouTube? I've been sitting here for like ages just going, yes. <laughs> We love Patty Peter. Okay, I'll I'll pat more. Not what you say, yeah. <laughs> What's up? I'm catching up on chat because now I have time. Children, I'm a strong, independent man. Yes, well. Yes, well. Went down a little Honda engine rabbit hole on Wiki. Why? Do tell us more. Hmm. My Google stuff is years. Oh, yeah. Oh, same. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't chat the. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I, I demand you. My mod has spoken. I'm just saying. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You're fine. 
But now we know. I said that for ages going. Ku, your support on my YouTube is so freaking sweet. <laughs> Why in the self-aware? What? I did. Did I not? You know why? Because I read it and I replied in my head. And then I'm like, cool, I replied. Wait, why am I playing with keyboard and mouse? I don't know if we could help, but... You're still gonna be monkey while you're here. I'm gonna try and translate that in my in my head. Our little run down the stairs is so cute. Um. No, Bear, don't cry. I will reply at some point. Gotta support my friends. You're so sweet, Ku. Thank you. No, Bear. It makes you feel better. Lego will um, happily insult me more with you. I'm sure. I don't need that. I can close that, I think. What's going on? What's going on? That's a gift. Fair. Fair. Where are we? Just about some pesto pasta. <gasps> oh, uh, AJ! And you didn't shower? I having dessert? What are you having for dessert? I need to know. I'm reducing my sugar a little bit. I'm not like... Okay, when people go on a diet, so like, I'm gonna cut everything out. I'm like, I'm gonna slightly reduce it. And I'm gonna see a huge difference because <laughs> I eat a lot. I like food and I like sugar. Maybe that's why I only replied in my head, Bear. No, I'm, I'm, yeah, no, yeah, I'm, I'm for it. Need to think, need to chat. Oh, it's Peeves. I was like, what the hell is that sound? Okay. What? Fruit? This is all I play on. You know what we could do? <laughs> you are going to hate me though. What's Tarkov like? What kind of what kind of what kind of game is Tarkov? Tell me more. I haven't seen a lot of gameplay. I see you play it a lot, but I do like. Cause I'm usually I'm usually sleeping when you stream. But when I am on. No? Why no? <laughs> Should I be consent? What am I doing? Where am I going? You know, let's go for a quiz. A quest! It's always a good place to go, isn't it? In it. Ooh, in the shadow of the study. Oh, Crucio. My day's been exhausting, Quince. It's nice to come home and chill. I've actually got a bit of a headache, but that's just because I need a nap. I didn't get a nana nap this afternoon. I miss my naps. I've been working from home all week and it's been the freaking best. I have to go into the office two days a week and I hate it. But I was in such a good... Um, routine working from home and it consisted of a 20 minute power nap in the afternoon and it worked really well because I've been exercising and eating well and all that stuff and having a lot a lot of water and it's been great but then I had to work in the office so I didn't get an afternoon nap so no power nap means a headache and now I'm sad and tired maybe I'll sleep at a reasonable time though that'd be nice 
Have I had some water? Yes, I've had one and a half liters today so far. This is my second bottle. Naps are the best. What kind of work from home? I'm an executive assistant. Oh, like I should pound up in the car. I should start taking Romeo to work so he can drive me home. <laughs> oh, bear. I'm sorry to hear that. Migraines are the worst. I, as a woman, get monthly migraines. Three days. They're fantastic. Apparently, there's a drug we can get here, prescribed, um, which is like a piece of paper that you put in your tongue. And apparently your migraine just goes away. I'm like, that sounds impossible because mine lasts three days. And the second day I'm really light sensitive and I can't do anything. Although I force myself to because I'm a workaholic. <laughs> I don't understand what self-care and self-preservation is. Anyway. Um, I'm not bringing it up. <laughs> that sounds like LSD. Maybe. Maybe Australia's got more lax laws than I thought. Hmm. Maybe because it comes from a doctor, it's fine. I, you know, I was thinking about being placebo because I can only, I can't, like, paracetamol, nurofen, or um, ibuprofen, they don't work for me. Ibuprofen's better. But there is one that I can get prescribed, which is Nurofen Plus, is the brand. Um, and it has codeine in it. You used to be able to get it over the counter, but now you need a prescription for it because of the codeine. And people use it for other reasons. But it was the only thing that could get rid of my headaches. I had it after I had some dental surgery. And it was the best freaking thing ever. It didn't get rid of it, but it n reduced a lot of the pain. And I liked it a lot. It's mostly help desk for me on seek. I'd love to do help desk stuff. Help desk stuff. Um, what's great about so PA and EA are slightly different too. Personal assistant versus executive assistant is slightly different. Executive assistant for me, it's just looking after calendars and inboxes. Which is what I love, because I want to do acting. <laughs> so I don't have to pay attention or get too involved in what's going on in the workplace that I'm at. A friend that had that implant birth control that helped period symptoms quite a bit yeah i could never do that birth control um makes me really uncomfortable they have okay i'm gonna try and get through this really quickly because i'm gonna okay <clears throat> so they have they showed me what it looks like which i already knew what it looked like it's like a little rod goes in your arm that one that's what i'm gonna be talking about um at the doctors oh i hate it I hate it. <laughs> they, had, they had like a little mimic, um, like a little, like a little thing about that big ish. Um, um, and it had like a little long oval in it with like a skin like texture over it, um, with the rod underneath. So they can be like, Hey, you can get this thing in your arm. This is what it's going to feel like under your skin. And I felt it. I hate that shit. I hate it. I hate veins. <laughs> I I can't. I can't. Yucky. I I hate them. Yucky, yucky, yuck. But it's like HR, only pretty ladies. Well, we actually have a few male executive assistants that aren't pretty ladies. And I say a few, there's not many. But a lot of women do tend to gravitate to the position. I think it just aligns with the way our brains like to work better. Oh, I hate needles. I hate needles and I hate veins. Blood tests are like the worst thing ever. But I love tattoos. Well, that's different. It's a weird things. I wouldn't say he's an attractive male. <laughs> Personal preference. But, you know, Beauty's in the eye of the beholder. I'm sure he's got a girlfriend of some kind, right? Um, girlfriend of some kind. Well done, me. I'm really nice to people, I swear. Um, <laughs> yes, Quince. So I, 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 to I totally get it. I totally understand. Personally, I totally get it. 
Because I also hate I also hate heights, but I love the window of a plane. So I get it. I get it. What's happening? Oh, what me throwing shade? I'm really positive and loving and we um, love our bread. We love our butter. But most of all, we love each other. See, and that's why I keep coming back because you're trying to like work out the puzzle, right? You're trying to work out what, what the hell is going on. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with your you, hair. Peter? Brilliant. Oh, I heard your hair. Like, your hair. I was like, what about my hair? I think my hairdresser. <laughs> Why is she searching like that? My hairdresser did a fabulous job. They said, you're here. You're here. My thing or reasoning is with tattoos, it's art and the end result. Yeah, take a blood sample. Yeah, no, I, and I honestly, I understand it. I completely understand it. It doesn't make sense when you're talking to some people, but personally, I get it. I totally understand. I'm, I'm a walking oxymoron. Actually, I said that to one of my friends in high school. <laughs> I said that, yeah, because I was talking about that sort of stuff. Um, and yeah, I was like, oh, I'm such an oxymoron because I'm this, but I like that, but I this, but that. I looked at me and just went, no, you're just a moron. And I cracked up. And it, like, as soon as it came out of his mouth, he was like, oh, I am so sorry. I didn't mean it. Like, and I was like, no, no, that was hilarious. And I'm holding on to that. <laughs> and I'm going to retell that story because I think that's hilarious. It was just such a quick... Anyway, I thought it was funny. Not for me, never had a fear of needles or blood. Probably why I'm paramedic trained. Well, that would be fair enough. Blood doesn't bother me. It's... Veins. And needles? Um, needles in blood tests, I think, are the only ones that bother me. Because I was never vaccinated growing up. But recently I've had a lot <laughs> um, in catching up and all that before I went to South Africa because I was worried. We're not questioning. We're not going into that because I don't know enough to have a conversation on it. But I thought I really was afraid of needles. Turns out I am afraid of... Um, Oh, bear. Oh, yuck. Oh. Oh, yuck. <laughs> oh, you guys get to watch my reactions now. My dad, oh, my dad does it sometimes. He'll start talking about blood and veins and go into detail about the capillaries and all that crap. And I just sit here and like this ball of, I don't even know what this is. But then he makes it worse and keeps going. And then I'm just stuck like this for 20 minutes. Hi, you get to see this part of me. Oh, yuck! Um, apologies to anyone that doesn't like hearing. Ah. We had the COVID jab going around. She was there. She was like, "Is there anything you don't like?" I say needles. Here's me with half sleeve, <laughs> half sleeve wrap, and the look on her face is priceless. I feel like <laughs> I feel like they get that often too. For one I've seen hypnotherapy, the worst part of needles is not the pain, it's the anxiety. Yes. Yes. It's it's the panic and anxiety around it. Ah, oh, you say a nice description. I say, Ugh. what gets me is a thing going into my flesh. Needles and mozzies, really? Yeah, my, so the first time I got um, vaccinated, they they let me lie down for it, which I thought was really sweet because um, I lie down to get my blood taken as well because I faint. Yay. Actually, quick story time. Um, I went to get my blood test last, the last time I ever sat in a chair to get my blood test. Um, my mom was in the room with me because it was high school and she was in the room with me and she was looking at me and I was there and I was looking away, you know, while they were doing the thing. Um, and, and I fainted like onto my mom 
Like she was trying to get my attention, whatever. I wasn't looking at her. Anyway, I fainted and then I woke up again a little bit later, whatever. <laughs> and instead of being like, oh, are you okay? She's like talking to the nurse like, wow, that's so fascinating how your brain can do blah, 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 blah. Oh, good bear. I appreciate you being here. All right. I hope you feel okay. Make sure your nice dark room so no one can see. See you sleeping. You better sleep. Or else I'll yell at you and I'll make your migraine worse. <laughs> Alright, I suppose. For sure, strawberry involves another human, so I'm not sure if I can say about it. Up to you. You don't have to use real names either. If you want to share. And the next blood test I had after that one. Um, I had it lying down and I was really anxious. Hi, I have severe anxiety. Nice to meet you. Um, which I've, I've not been diagnosed with. Yay. Um, Berry, hi! I see you looking over there. How are you? Welcome in. It's so lovely to see you here. How has your week been? What day is it? Thursday. Yes. Are we excited? I'm so freaking excited. I was going to say a good story. What was my story? Oh, the second, the time after that that I got my blood test. Oh, I guess I missed it. <laughs> it's like you're taking too long. I'm walking off. Um... I didn't faint this time because I got to get my blood test lying down, but I was sick after it. Um, became unwell and I was there like my head in the bag, I guess, like head between my knees, like trying to recover just from a blood test. Like it wasn't anything big or bad or whatever. And my mom was just talking to the nurse like, wow, that's so fascinating that our brain can like make us have these sorts of reactions to something that isn't even like this isn't dangerous like there's nothing wrong going on but my brain just worked myself up and i was like you're not gonna like hold me and comfort me you're here brilliant <laughs> to be fair my mom is deep into like science and biology and human stuff she's an osteopath <laughs> she loves that stuff and I completely agree. It's really interesting and fascinating to see how strong the brain sort of works around the body. I'm off work. It's your Friday? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, that's the best news, Barry. What have you got planned for the weekend? What's going on? What's happening? Tell me everything. Not everything. You can keep some things private. I'll allow it. Billy was getting his school jab and he's also a fainter. They gave him the jab. He passed out and they asked if I was near... I said, yep, yeah, Bill wakes from passing and he asked, did I pass out? And I was like, yep, you did. Oh. Poor guy. I, I've had, I remember there was another girl at my school. She also passed out when she was getting her school jab. No, and it's not for it. Like, I mean, it's... It's crazy. A vagal nerve. Maybe? Sangria? Um, excuse me, Barry. Are you sharing? Are you bringing some to stream? Are we enjoying this together? What's going on? I received your owl. What happened with Ominous? I told him none of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. So the more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the dark arts, the better prepared we'll be. Unfortunately, only a Gaunt knows the location of the Scriptorium's entrance, and Ominous won't tell me. Hmm. Perhaps I should have a chat with Ominous. You? I suppose it's worth a try. But don't get your hopes up. Ominous is annoyingly stubborn. Nothing new. I know where he is. I'll lead you to him and then leave you to it. Come on. I'm not going to persuade him to do nothing. It's this way. We are... going to be best friends, Ominous and Karen. 
I think they are pretty much on the same Keep page. She's got a wiggle in her Never work. Know who's watching. Although that hasn't stopped us before. Never know who's watching these guys. Huh? We were caught. Damned poltergeist. Such a nuisance. When you come to people when you come to people want comfort though. Yeah, it's not ponder neural now. <laughs> I yeah, I know. It's my mum. Michelle she's always been. It's very it's it's funny when I look back on it because I would probably be similar. <laughs> <laughs> to people if that happened. Especially if I have no problem with it. The vague nerve is real important one. Important also for managing anxiety. Yes, yes. There's a um there's a thing you can do and it resets the vagus nerve apparently. Some sort of eye movement and pressing places and things. My counselor sent me a video to try it and I have forgotten it, so yay me. When I got the COVID jab, they said I could look and I thought I'd rather not. <laughs> you want to get any of my tattoos? I could look and intrigue. And it's a lot more fun and interesting. I think the other thing, for me anyway, personally, I don't like the idea of things going into my body where it's not meant to be going into my body. To me, a tattoo is like drawing on your skin with ink. It's only very surface level. Whereas um, vaccines are like going from my nails, not my fingers. Like this much liquid going past everything else it would make sense but really worried her though could be way for her to self-soothe it could it could i think the first time she was a bit more like whoa what the hell but the second time she was very like wow this is so interesting she's like i've never seen that before that's so weird i had a bruise on my arm oh i hate it when i get bruises on my arms for a few days afterwards because i can't look oh i already hate that part of my arm already so ugly. No, I'm kidding. Because I can see the veins. Just, ugh, I hate, ugh. I'm working on it because I know this is a mental thing. A lot of my issues are stuck up here. It's nothing. Nothing's actually happened to me to warrant these thoughts and feelings. So I'm working on it. I'm trying to get better. I used to like seeing veins on people. I'd be like, oh my god, you're so skinny. I can see your veins. <laughs> I'm so jealous. I wish I could see veins on my hands. Uh, but as I got older, I'm like, yuck. Although there's a lot of deep-seated stuff that has made me feel certain ways as I've gotten older. Like that. And I think I know why. But I'm exploring something else with my counsellor now, so. We'll get back to that at some point. I wonder where the COVID jab goes. But tattoo... Yeah, yeah. Oh, COVID... No one say where the vaccines go. Because I have convinced myself that it goes into the muscle. I don't think it does. But that has made me okay to get them. So we are sticking with that. Yes? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> what are you doing here? I've come to make friends. We're like before. Hello, We're like this. Do you have a moment? What is it? What have you and Sebastian been up to now? Please, Ominous. I confided in you before about what happened with the Undercroft. Sebastian simply wanted me to have a safe place to practice some spells, to try and catch up to the other fifth years. He didn't think you'd mind. <sighs> I suppose that makes sense. It's just Sebastian's been pestering me lately about something and I'm frustrated with him. Don't tell me he's still going on about... What was it? A uh, scriptorium? He told you about that. He did. Oh, Quince. We were talking about Hogwarts <laughs> founders and he mentioned it. Wouldn't say much more, though. Yes, well, he seems to think it contains the answer to saving Anne. I think it's likely full of dark magic that is better left untouched. Wait, you've never been inside? Of course not. I only know about it because of my favourite aunt, Noctua. She thought like I do. Didn't agree with the family on the use of dark magic. In fact, she'd hoped to convince my family that there was more to Salazar Slytherin than worshipping pure blood status. She'd heard there of is? this scriptorium and thought its contents might shed some light on him. She even found the secret entrance in this very corridor. She wrote regularly to my father about her efforts to gain access and then she simply vanished. No one else ever tried to enter. Ooh, what would Karen say? I understand your caution. That is a bit unnerving. I suppose even if it might lead to answers about what happened to your aunt, it does pose a risk. Aunt Noctua went down this path with good intentions and lost her life. I don't want the same to happen again. You don't know that history will repeat itself. Besides, oh, you said your aunt thought like you. This could honor her memory. 
get you answers about Slytherin and Sebastian answers for Anne. She's Your manipulative. Answers, we could do it together. Hmm. I see what you've done here, and I confess, you've convinced me. I didn't think it possible. Very well. I shall tell you what I know. Fetch Sebastian, I'll wait. Just turn around I and call his I name, because he's literally right there. don't regret this. Sebastian, over here. CBT? Yes. Access to the scriptorium. Cognitive now behavioral share, therapy or something. I love it. It works for, it, it's worked well for me. For the most part. It's not like a one and done easy to do. But opening the entrance has it's something certainly to do helpful. With trees. Well, three heads I actually found out one. <laughs> it's two heads are better than one. And by that logic, three is better than two. Simple mathematics, ominous. God, this ominous. God. Um, also, I was doing, I found out, I was doing CBT Is stuff. Any help? Um, excuse me, don't tell me what to do, I'm talking to chat. Um. Yeah, I was doing um, CBT stuff before I even knew what it was. I love it. I was doing a version because CBT is such a DBT though. DBT therapy? What is this? Talking therapy? Oh, oh, tell me more. Poor mindfulness, distress tolerance, emotion regulation, interpersonal effectiveness. Is this other stuff that I've already been doing? <laughs> Knowing me. What can I expect? How does it help? Blah, blah, blah. One gave me a giggle. I had a blood test done. What is up? No visible ink. She's like, oh, you don't have any tattoos. I'm like, I do. <laughs> the ink's got metals in it, right? Oh. Why? What happens if you put metal in an MRI? Does it just mess with it or? Lead and mercury? Those, those would be metals. Mindfulness is being self-aware and present in the moment. Correct. See, I use mindfulness. I've used that since high school. I, that was part of my CBT stuff. Which I actually probably did a bit of both at the same time. Distress tolerance is using learning to understand your emotions in difficult or stressful situations. Oh, <laughs> we're not going to worry about that one. <laughs> it involves measuring your emotions without using harmful behaviors. <laughs> Go on, where else am I going to get my binge eating fix? Uh, emotion regulation is being more aware of your emotions, but understanding your emotions, you have more control over them. It's probably not a bad idea to have, just generally. Interpersonal effectiveness is learning how to ask for what you need. That one I've actually been doing. That one's really freaking difficult. How did I know it was going to be an other thing that I've already been doing? <laughs> I just didn't know that's what it was called or it was a thing. It looks really useful though for a lot of people. There you go, DBT and CBT. Would highly recommend to have a little look-see look -see into it if anyone's struggling with anxiety or um, says here people with um, BPD can be, can find a lot of use in DBT. So many acronyms. Well, there you go. MRIs use super duper powerful magnets. Google MRI mistakes. Oh! Nope! 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 Not happening! <laughs> nope! <laughs> Other people can, by all means, go for it. Go explore the world of the terrifying, and I will not 
stop you, but I could not. <laughs> Personally, I don't want to know where that goes. <laughs> I don't watch Dr. Pimple Popper, I don't watch any of that stuff, because yeah, I can't. Anything that's like fails in the gym and stuff, oh, I can't. I can't do it. I've had one MRI, and um, I kind of fell, almost fell asleep in it, which was actually nice and surprising. I was expecting it to go a lot worse. I have to ask if it does affect things that do have tattoos. Yeah, for sure. And I think they usually ask those sorts of questions too. They want to make sure that they do everything right by you as well. You have to sign a whole waiver and stuff. They'll ask you if you're conscious anyway. Oh yeah, that too. Yeah. I've been looking more, observing people more. It's eye-opening. I'm with Monkey on this one. What have you noticed? Tell me more. What is going on? That brazier went out on its own. I wonder if it's a clue. Something's happening. Yeah, it's. Oh, you're blind. For this. Like, it's right behind you. Dark, We're ominous here. corridors. My favorite. No comment. Come Almost. on, that was a good one. Was a good one. This is really fun for me to listen to, Quince. Tell me more. The rubble formed a relief of a person facing a snake. That must be the voice I hear. Your parcel tongue. I guess you are a Slytherin, I suppose. It's it it is really interesting when you start breaking things down. I feel like you learn so much from my streams, Quince. It's really it's really fun for me to go, hey, hey, did you know about this? And you're like, no. And then you go into the real world and you start looking at things in the real world. And I think it's really useful for people too. Like if you go into the real world and you start thinking about new things that you've learned or seen or heard or whatever, and it becomes a um A way to sort of reconnect, I guess, in a way. That's how I look at it. You can sort of be more present in the moment and what's going on. One unnoticed and happy. Talk about it. Yeah, they tried that with another and didn't look well put. Ah! See? It is really interesting because you can't treat... Like, they say treat others how you want to be treated, right? And you can, for sure. I think it's a great way to live by. It's how I live. Hi. Um, but you have to be understanding that not everyone responds in the same way to you. I must prove my point. We do not need to use the dark arts as my family instructs. When I reach the scriptorium, I will find evidence that there's more to Salazar's arsenal than than re realize. I've written to my brother. He now knows how I access the corridor's entrance and that there's no straight path to reach the scriptorium. It's a maze with many challenges to solve. I hope that my brother will follow my lead and we can study our ancestors' legacy together. Noctua Gaunt. A journal entry. Signed by Noctua Gaunt. Gaunt? Ominous. Your family was here. I know. She was my aunt. You knew? And didn't tell me? Ominous. The journal mentions many challenges ahead. That's why I said this could be dangerous. Aunt Noctua kept my father informed until she vanished. It's scary and odd but interesting. Oh, for sure. It's... Could I ask something? A chance that it's going to change things, but it'd be nice to know. Go on. I, I will tell everyone now. I am quite honest. And a lot of people don't like that. <laughs> um, but I never mean any ill will to people. Ironically, it's possible for childhood trauma to teach to want to be treated unhealthily. That too! My favourite story! Um, two sons are raised by the same father, an alcoholic father, and one son grows up to be an alcoholic, and the other son grows up avoiding alcohol at all costs. And when the boys are asked, why have you chosen this path? They both give the same answer, and they say, I watched my dad growing up. 
So it's completely um, to me it's up to you um, how you want to live your life. You can blame your childhood all you want. I can blame my childhood all I want. Um, I didn't have a nice easy childhood. Uh, like a lot of other people haven't had a nice easy childhood, right? Um, but it's up to you how you want to go forth and live your life. And your answer can be, I saw my family growing up. Like I've watched my family, I've observed them, and I've learned from them, and I don't want to do what they've done. You know what I mean? So I work hard to be self-aware. I found a lot of people to be hypocritical. And so I, I'm actively aware of, is what I'm saying what I practice? If what I'm saying is not what I practice, that's hypocritical of me and I shouldn't be saying it. Know what I mean? That's one of many things, but as an example, whereas there's other people that will happily be hypocritical and not realize it because that's just how they were raised. You know, all that sort of stuff. If you have a 4060 Ti GPU, but say you want to now upgrade to 4080, can these changes be done easily without having other supporting things? It depends what the rest of your build is like. If you put that, let's, for instance, if you put that on a, okay. <laughs> People in chat that know computers better than me, because you're about to hear me say this and you're going to be like, that's wrong. Um, please correct me. But if you put that sort of a GPU onto like an i3, is it a motherboard? CPU? I always get these mixed up. Um, your i3 is not going to support it. I don't think. Or if you don't have the right, if you don't have the right CPU. If you're, so are you submitting all of these online to be built somewhere else? Or are you ordering them separately so you build it yourself? Because if you're ordering it separately to be built at a shop, they should hopefully tell you, hey, you wanted to put this in, we'd recommend actually switching to this because it's going to be better, depending on what you're focusing on. Or if you go into a shop and you say, hey, I'm thinking about building a PC, I'm not sure yet, I'm brand new, can you take me through it? More often than not, they're, they're so excited to nerd out with you. So, I've seen the things from Smelly Rumors and I don't want to be anything like that. Yeah, yeah, big same, see? It's all about, it's all about you. You are in control of your life. Doesn't matter what your past is, it's who you are now and in the future that's important. And that's a big thing that I had to learn as well. And I watch other people around me too, like friends, family, whatever. Um, but yeah it's up to you your life is in your hands i i especially in high school it's harder because you are living at your parents place and you are still kind of under their control for lack of a better term um you're under their rules etc etc but uh yeah I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> um, long story short, you got this. It's about you now and in the future. Don't worry about the past you. If you have done something bad in the past, um, that's up to you to heal from and move on from. Tara had my eyes on has the 460 Ti and I thought if one day I, I get smart or brave I could upgrade to the 480. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I agree with Monkey. Um, Quince, also, GPU doesn't mean shit about a good computer. <laughs> uh, much, much to the, what is it? Much to the contrary, whatever. Um, 
yeah, other people are like, wow, I've got like the most expensive and latest GPU, and I'm like, cool, can your computer use it? Like, is it useful? And they're like, well, I mean, kind of, but you know, I've got 8 gigs of RAM, and I'm trying to run this really big beefy game, but my computer's chugging, but I've got like the best GPU, and it's like, maybe because you got 8 gigs of RAM. <laughs> Maybe because your CPU isn't strong enough or big enough to be able to run that game that you're trying to play at ultra high graphics. Like there's so many components to a computer. A GPU, just because you've got a big GPU doesn't mean anything. The GPU I've got in my computer, I wanted one that was three generations earlier. So like older than the one I've got now. Because it had the same stats as each other, really. And it was cheaper. And it would do exactly what I wanted. <laughs> that too, monkey, that too. But yeah, no, um, I would highly recommend if you look into um, the NVIDIA website and you can start clicking on um, like comparing all the different GPUs just to get an idea of what is the biggest difference between them all. You quickly start to learn that a lot of them are much of the same. There's not that much different. And especially if you're going to be getting a really good PC with other good bits and pieces. You don't need an excellent GPU. Unless you're planning on playing every single game and you game a lot on ultra high graphics. Like I've got a great GPU. It helps. It doesn't help with streaming. <laughs> My streams could be so much better with an older, cheaper GPU and more money put into other parts of the PC. Like I've got 16 gigs of RAM. I need 32. Uh, I need... Yeah, 32. Or even... 24? 24? Mm. Don, my dear, how are you? Welcome! 64, if I had 64 gigs of RAM, oh! Whew. That I I don't know if any PC can hold sixty four gigs of RAM. Um. Yeah, t yeah, twenty four. I'm trying to think. Sixteen plus eight is twenty four. Yes. <laughs> I can do maths, guys. How's work going, Don? Why is my... Oh no, it's not working again. Why aren't you working again? There we go. So we can't... Oh no, no, you're totally fine, Quince. The most of... Oh, for sure. No, absolutely. I'd love to know if a PC can support 64 gigs of RAM. A PC, not a server. Slight, slightly different. I know servers can hold stupid amounts. I was talking to someone the other day. They've got a server that's got like 200 and something gigs of RAM. I was like, wow, work is work. Nice. Just had burgers. <gasps> what kind of burger? Tell me everything. Maybe I should get a burger. You know, I always stream at like after eight, nine. And anytime someone brings up food in the chat, I'm like, hmm. Yeah, I could eat until I hurt, sure. <laughs> That'd be money for 64. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely, they totally are. You can go, uh, I don't know what you'd have in New Zealand, but in Australia, we've got a couple of um, computer building places <laughs> I don't even know what to call it um but they they're so helpful you go in you say hey on my phone this is the kind of pc I'm looking at and I want to use it for this this and this reason and they go okay cool and they go through all the specs with you and they say I wouldn't recommend this or like why did you want this and if you say I know I thought it was cool they'll go great I'd actually recommend that you get this instead and then they'll build it for you 
And more often than not, they're happy to be on your side and try and find cheaper ways to get the same sort of end result that you want. Separate workers, 1024. Can I have that in my computer, please? Sons of the Forest crashed twice because my RAM maxed out. <laughs> it shows up RAM like no tomorrow. Had a bacon and cheeseburger with cheese fries. <sighs> Don, stop. Aiden decided to share the cheese fries. Wow. You hear a voice. It started Taking a when note. you repaired that relief. I hear a whisper saying, speak to me. I'm a parcel mouth. <gasps> I can hear and speak to snakes. Well, you're speaking to one. parcel mouths are descended from Salazar so Slithery. I'd like to be able to talk to snakes. You might not want the ability to speak parcel tongue. It's often associated with dark wizards. I haven't spoken it in ages, but I'd wager if I speak it now, the door will open. I'm hoping you're having second thoughts. What would Karen say? Now, is Karen a rebellious teen? Like, there's so many questions, you know? I did have to put the web link to you, but I also have doubts. To who but you and Sinsa it should do me well, so now I just gotta get the coin for it somehow. <laughs> Time and saving. She would love to speak to the manager. Well maybe she's not having any second thoughts at all. Because the more she gets to see, the more she gets to report higher up. That's what I'm thinking. Um, but yeah, Quince, if you can find a, if you can find a computer building, because they'll be able to really sit down and pull it apart for you. We've been able to be helpful. <laughs> but I feel like if you sit down and they explain to you why certain things are good and certain things aren't, and they might also be able to find cheaper ways for you to get it, so you can get it even sooner. Just an idea. That's what we've done. We've gone hey we want to have this build and we'll go into as much detail and depth as we possibly can then we'll take a screenshot of everything that we want to our um local ish <laughs> it's not really local um pc builder people and say hey this is what we want and they go why do you want this this and this then we say because we want it for this he's like okay i mean that's great but you can also get this for half the price and it does the same thing and you go oh I would prefer to have that one then, please. Can you build me this PC? How much would it cost? And then they'll give you a quote and everything. That's the only reason why I suggest it, because while streaming and playing a game, we can see, we can go, yeah, that's a good PC, but we can't sit there and um, cut it back and say, oh, you know, instead of getting this, you could get this instead. I have mail the leftovers to you. Thank you. She get in four to five weeks. Oh, beautiful. Well, you know, we've got green eggs and ham. Might as well have green cheesy fries. Can't wait to give it to Romeo. No, to kill him. And Simba too. Great idea. Who needs a king? No king, no king. I see no reason we should stop now. It's ironic. When I left home, I vowed to leave the dark arts behind. And yet here I am. Stand back. Well, it's not the dark arse. You're just a pure blood. Doing this. It Ominous, you I can speak parcel tongue too. Between the two of you, I'm starting to feel left out. Between the two of us. Thank you, Don. I, I was feeling creative, and this happened. And then I thought maybe I continue no to um. Forward. Like a maze. Experiment. Oh, hello. To to yeah. The door we came from, it closed. And there's more than one gate ahead. Thanks. Then look closely at each gate for clues.
don't know if you saw what I said above, but some don't like down the ladder, so they don't benefit from that. That's why I say it depends where you go. Because there are some places that you need to scout them out. There are some places that will happily work. Because they don't get a commission. There's a lot of places here that don't get commission just because they've sold you something better. They get paid a salary and that's just it. <laughs> Have fun at work, Don. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you hopping in in your break. Have a beautiful weekend if I don't see you. And, uh, yeah, have fun. Much appreciated. Ah. Salazar Slytherin buried the scriptorium deep within Hogwarts. I'm afraid I shall lose my way around these dark corridors. I'm a descendant, and yet I feel unwelcome. Lighting these brasieries in the corridor is helping. I shan't lose heart. Challenge by challenge, I'll make my way through. This journal entry, it mentions getting lost and being unwelcome. Dial requires focus. Uh, not to have said the same. It may take practice to solve it. I do remember this one, but I'm not going to get it done because I wasn't looking, was I? That didn't sound good. It wasn't Salazar good. Didn't make this easy. Do some more picking around the time comes. Yeah, that's all you can do. And like, I, I would, my my biggest advice is do as much research as you can before, um, before finalizing your decision. And when you do, if you have enough money to get the build that you want, it's not a bad idea to run past, um... When the door closed, it lit up. <gasps> oh my god, no, no, no. Um... When the time does come, take what you want to someone that can help break it down for you. See if they can get you any deals, etc, etc. And don't say that you have enough money yet. Say, oh, I'm still saving. I don't really have that much money yet. Blah, blah, blah. If they know that you don't have money for an expensive computer, they might do something. And you can save a little bit of money. We've got a moon, sun, moon, and a S snake. Gate. Sun, moon. That's one in the family. Look in a mirror, Sebastian. Matching the symbols did open it. <gasps> Where no way. Uh-huh, sure. Got to it first. Uh huh, sure. <laughs> nice work. Uh-huh, sure. Where are her no ah, here we go. I failed the dial and it struck my face of a real serpent, but I must find a way forward for my family's sake. We should not require children to conform to old traditions. The scriptorium must have proof that there's more to our legacy than means the eye. Ominous. Your aunt wanted to change your family's traditions. She did. And she was my favourite person in the world for it. Lumos. Okay, let's see if I can find the other puzzle. Where is the other puzzle? Not that one. Where is ya? Ah, oh, here. Uh, piggy looking thing and an iron. If anyone else does not see an iron, you are wrong. I'm kidding. It's gonna help me. Piggy looking thing and an iron. Not the welcome sword, was he? Piggy looking thing and an iron. What? Dial seems to be getting more difficult. Made it I just spot. did it. Okay, we're actually going this way this time because it was closer. What? That was not the picky looking thing? What? It totally was. And symbols differ for every dial. Inconceivable. Lumos. Oops, wrong button. This one. Lumos. Oh, is a dial under here? Ah. Oh. 
Okay, let's try that again. I was right. <laughs> it was just the wrong one. Froggy! How are you? That's welcome, welcome. How's your week Another going? Dial solved. Impressive. Nice work. Yes, well. Extraordinary. This journey is painful but rewarding. I shall soon find the scriptorium and discover untold secrets regarding our house founder. Salazar Slytherin intended more than what we've become. I know it. Doctor references painful and arduous challenges, but also rewards. Painful. That's the part I'm wary of. All I heard was rewards. Keep going. Okay, we've got some pepper cracker and pyramid. I don't know that is no salt and pepper cracker I'm referring to. Uh, don't mind me. <laughs> Wait, where's the salt? Wait. Oh, there it is. It seems the dial moves faster than before. Perhaps check your matching correct symbols. Maybe if I just open my eyes. Ever thought of that? Hmm? Bet not. Thank you. Pinch is in high need, is it? Excellent. Work. Everything all right, We're Froggy? Step closer to the scriptorium. Lumos. I've had TCB um, sending me stuff, which has been nice. Like just nice to know that she's using it. They're I using it. Something ahead. No, no, she, because they troubling. were talking this about sisters. This whole place is troubling, but for my aunt's sake, we cannot stop now. I agree, Ominous. I agree. Oops. Let's turn this light on. Oops. Oh. Crucio. <gasps> is it what I see on the floor? I think we're locked in. Again. Then Salazar Slytherin is not yet finished with us. I've lost hope. I'm locked in. I heard a scream and saw the tortured faces. The only way forward is with an unforgivable curse. Even though I wanted to cast it, I have no one upon whom to do so. Salazar Slytherin created a malice, malicious challenge indeed. In my last correspondence to my brother, I'd invited him here. Now if he looks for me alone, he'll, I'll have led him to his death. Despite our differences, I wish him no ill. I wish we had parted on better terms. Ominous. <sighs> a skeleton. And not your last journal entry. She mentions being trapped here, blocked by an unforgivable curse. This is where she died. This is where we'll die. I shouldn't have listened to either of you. <laughs> Ominous, I'm truly sorry about your aunt. But I know what to do. It's In going to be difficult. No? Oh. You Guess said not. you know what to do. <laughs> set, set, set. Oh, you said you know what to do. Crucio is etched into the stone. My guess is if we cast the Cruciatus curse, the door will open. That's why Noctua died. She had no one to cast the curse on. Ominous has the most experience with this. He should cast it. You seem to be in Ominous's favor. Will you ask him about this? She doesn't want to hide away from confrontation. Sure. Whoops. You know him better than I do. Very well. That was an accident. Wish me luck. <laughs> oh well. Wish we had some liquid luck. Ominous, I know this is the last thing you want to do. Yes, it is. I thought you knew me better. But this is different. I love that they're both Whoever idling. Upon would have agreed to it first. It wouldn't be an innocent victim. We have to open the door. The oh. spell won't work unless you mean it. That's true of all unforgivables. If it must be done, then one of you must cast it. Enjoy. Say hi to Sin. Have a good weekend. Enjoy. Chat, enjoy your search. Have a great weekend. Thank you, Froggy. Have a beautiful weekend. I appreciate you hopping in, even for a quick hi. Uh, have a beautiful weekend. Thank you so, so much. What do we do now? Ominous is not going to cast the Cruciatus Curse again. Ridiculous. As if dying in here is a better option than casting a damned spell. What sort of damn spell is that? <sighs> it's up to us. I can teach you Crucio, or I can cast it on you. Wait, you didn't say you knew how to cast Crucio. Because I'm not sure I do. 
ominous knows that, yet he's left us no choice. I don't yearn to follow in Noctua Gaunt's footsteps. No worries, Quince. I think I can cast this if I have to. I want to learn, but you must cast it on me. Why would she sacrifice herself? I want no. to cast, and I think it's best if I cast it on you. Very well, if that's what you want. Uh, yes. To perform the spell, raise your wand, point it at me, and firmly declare, Crucio, hold on as long as you can. So zigzag zippy zap. Zippy zag zap. Ready? I'm ready. Zippy zap. We have learned our first unforgivable spell. We win, huzzah! Are you all right? Out of my way. I would have done anything to make it stop. But I'll survive. Him. Let's keep moving. We made it. Revenge. We found Salazar Slytherin Scriptorium. Salazar Slytherin Scriptorium, a secret and well-kept a secret and well-protected room beneath Hogwarts where Salazar Slytherin appears to have spent time making various long-term plans with respect to the student population and reflecting on disagreements he had with the other founders. Oh, I can't believe we're here. Sebastian, ominous. There's a book just here. You found something. You yes. do go ahead. Let me know what's in it. I'll wander around a bit. Go do spinny spin. So easily amused. Wow. My gear slots are full. Oh, I should have some ale to wash that down. Welcome back, Quince. I hope your journey was exciting. I fear we shall never come to an accord. I cannot persuade even one of them to listen to reason. I had dared hope that Godric's thoughts were aligned with my own, that he understood why the caliber of student needed to be exceptional, but he has fallen prey to the ridiculous notion that Muggleborns are somehow as capable as purebloods. He was furious when I expressed my displeasure at his thought on the matter, thoughts he had not yet put voice to. I tire of the discord, and we can no longer bear witness to the corridors full of inept children masquerading as witches and wizards. It is with heavy heart that I now know I must go from here. I shall place the creature into a deep sleep in its chamber until it can be awakened by one who shares my views, a descendant willing to reverse the damage that others have so carelessly wrought. One who shall rid the school of those unworthy of Hogwarts that should only serve to stain my legacy. Ooh, I want to find it. Is it the serpent? I hope it's the serpent. I had a thought. Do you think prices will change in December or January for PCs? They there should be a lot of sales coming up soon. You got your Christmas sales. Do you have Boxing Day sales? We have Boxing Day sales in Australia. What do you think? Looks like a spell book of some kind. This is incredible. Plus Cyber Monday and possession. Black Friday. What an honor. They've Still become a worldwide thing now. Never told me about his aunt and what she found. What will you do with Slytherin's spellbook? What I do with every book, read it. Having professors as parents ingrained that habit early on. <laughs> Fair enough. But I can do that later. For now, I say we explore this room. It's breathtaking. I don't want to leave, Avelio. but I owe you, both of you. Without both of you, we'd never have made it this far. We were lucky. We could have died. We must swear never to do this again. Boxing Day things, yes, the other not sure. You should, I'm assuming, you should have um, 
Cyber Monday at least, which is online sales. Best news I've heard all day. Can't stop thinking about that tower and monitor. I would... yeah. You should get Cyber Monday. I think Cyber Monday's become a, a worldwide -y thing now. I don't know when that happens. Is it November or October? We get I think October we get Cyber Monday. It's after Black Friday, whenever that is. Again, it's a new thing for us, so I actually don't know. Don't need a lot, but it's still priced. <laughs> oh, of course. Ominous. A discount, a discount, After a discount. All, please, Sebastian. I meant what I said before. We swear, right now, never to engage in anything to do with dark magic again. Understood. I'm truly sorry about your aunt, Ominous. He never promised nothing. He just said understood. I suppose after all this, I am grateful to know what happened to her. Thank you. Oh, is that done? Oh, sweet. Nice. Nice. Try to tell you when it, if it happens. <laughs> you want to know? Yeah, no, for sure. Do let us know. Where or where or where do we go? The map chamber? No, not yet. Not yet. Oh, I do need to do that one though. The plight of the house elf? Oh, yes. We must find the cave. Is that so cool? Hmm, should I be concerned? I don't know. There are a couple people that hop into my uh, Discord that concern me a little bit. Not enough for me to do anything about it, but you know. Oh! <laughs> Gosh! <laughs> That the chloroform meme. <laughs> I mean, I'm more impressed that they didn't pass out. No, Quince, not at all. No, 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 no. It's all in jest. Oh, I found 15! I need one more. I wonder where the other one is. I get Alohomora 2 and 3? That's pretty good. It's one I'm remembering tomorrow. What? Okay. I trust you. Should I be concerned? The question's still valid. <laughs> Whoopsies, sorry. Oh, I forgot I had this one. Cool. Oh, what's up here? This is kind of cool. I don't think I've been up here before. Maybe I have. Where am I? Oh, the Owlery! What else would it be? Oh yeah, my gear's lots of full. I keep forgetting. Oh, how cool! 
We'll go and do that thing in a sec. I want to look in the... Oh my gosh. To send a letter, you have to go all the way up here. My goodness. Oh yeah, it's nice and clean up here. Oh, what? I can go higher? Is that what you meant to send them off of? Oh. Thank you. Hogwarts Owls. School owls and owls owned by students can be found in the Hogwarts Owlery. One is advised to explore carefully, keeping an eye out for owl droppings and regurgitated mouse skeletons. Yuck. Sure, that must be cold. That's a good point. I think it would be freezing to be flying, especially at night. Oh my goodness, how gorgeous. Look at this. Is it raining? What's happening over there? Was that just the glistening of the waterfall? Maybe it's just the glistening of the waterfall. Cool. Oh, this is cool. Oh. Don't mind if I do. Thank you very much. <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Love seeing all the owls fly around it too. Big fan. Big fan. That's cool. Alrighty. Well, that was fun. Nice little adventure for us all. Now we are finding the cave. The cave. The cave. Do I have to go around this thing? I hope not. Maybe not. Whee. Where did music go? I'm so glad that I can actually fly over this one. Whoa! Whee. This must be Top's cave. I suppose I should head inside. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Rebellion. Spiders? Why couldn't we follow the butterflies? Typical. <gasps> I have tea! I didn't think I had any tea left. No wizards, extreme danger. Okay. Let's burn this down real quick. Thank you. Oh, you're a leech. How is my man? He's good. He's also had a very busy day and he also has a headache. Romeo's good. He's over here. Hi, baby. Yeah. Do you want to get out of my room? He wants to get out of my room. But he's good. I bet he's been spoilt today. Cinnamon's been home all day, working from home, but um, I had to go into the office. Although he's been in the office all week this week, so it sucked to be him, but you know. And Remy's been spoiled, haven't you? Come here! Come on. He wants to get out. One sec. <laughs> Alright.
I have it returned. Tobbs, you missed your quota by three files. You know what that means? It means my loyal customers will be missing their bottles of Seamus's shrinking solution. Because of your foolish mistake, you'll be given no food for a week. I also expect you to punish yourself accordingly when I return for the next shipment. I'd best see bloodied bandages instead of your usual idiotic grin. If you do not meet your next quota, plus five extra files, you will lose more than your food privileges. Tobbs Master is awful. Tobbs? Tobbs? Deke sent me. Are you in here? Where is he? Oh. Might have to get rid of this real quick. Nice. Oh, wait. Oh, hello. Smack. There we go. Easy, easy game. Because I keep missing it. Oh, but I don't have... Alright, we're going to get rid of some things in our gear slots then, I suppose. Aren't we? How's this one? Nope. Yes. How's about you? Nope. How's about you? Hmm. No, but we will destroy you. Destroy. Nope, 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 and nope. Okay, well we can get rid of this one I suppose, and, and this one. Just so that we can get another fur lined cap. That you don't need or want, but that's fine, I suppose. All right, Miss Karen, where art thou? Down here. What's over here? Oh, nothing. Chest. Oh, there's a bag. That was interesting. But okay. Whoa. -ho -ho -ho. I am not. Damn it! Nice me! Nice work. It looks as if Tobbs was here some time ago. He must have headed deeper into the cave. Oh! Rude. Disgusting. Is there a way to preview what shows in your stream without going live? What do you mean? Incendio. Like, is there a way for me to show you what my stream will be without going live? Let me go. There is on YouTube I can um, show that I will be live and it'll show you what you can expect to see on my live. Like you'll know if I'm going to be playing um, Hogwarts Legacy and all that. Um, If I were to set up my OBS, can I see what- Oh, yes! Yes, yes, yes! Absolutely. There's also a way that you can, um, go live without going live to test your bandwidth, to test your, um, ping and make sure that everything's running smoothly. But you have to Google for that one. Because there's a specific link that you need to put in. 
But yeah, no, your whole OBS. The way OBS looks is it's got its screen and all its stuff that you can set up, and then it's got a nice little start stop stream on the side. And it won't show anything on your stream until you hit start stream. So yeah, for sure. It's how you can set everything up so that everything is nice and clean. Pleasure! Happy to answer questions. Happy to help where I can if I know the answers. I'm not great with PC stuff, but... Down there, that's fine by me. Okay, where's oh you're over there? Oh hi. Lovely, nice. Let me wait, let me wait. There we go. Ah, did she know it's That's all good. Master, if you're looking for Tobbs, it seems he has dried up all the leeches here and must move deeper into the cave. Tobbs hopes Master will wait for him to return. It's much too dangerous for Master to follow, and please be careful of the spiders. That didn't sound particularly reassuring. No. And, to be honest, um, I could have used that warning a little bit earlier, aside from the big beware of, <laughs> beware of spider signs walking into the cave. Also, Quint, if you want more things to look into, <laughs> I hate that. Um, before you start streaming, um, Google Stream Elements. Just to start getting your head around it a little bit. It's really user friendly. Um, I use Mix It Up for a lot of my things, but I still heavily rely on Stream Elements for a lot of other things. For Twitch, um, YouTube you can't do as much stuff with until you get monetized. Twitch, too, in a way. Um, you hit affiliate before you can start doing a lot of the fun stuff. But, um... Yeah, to get monetized on YouTube is a lot harder than it is on Twitch. Twitch is still hard. Twitch, you still need to earn it. Um, there's a lot of people that stream for years and aren't able to get affiliate. But there's still lots you can do on Twitch without getting an affiliate. Ah, you're a big scary boy, no! You're a big glowy scary boy. Oh my goodness! Oh my golly, where's that big scary one gone? As if he's gone. Don't tease me like this. Ooh, unless he is gone. Was that him? <laughs> Was that his head? Hmm, okay. 
Okay. There's one thing on stream elements in like shuffles on your- Yes! I still need to find that and be able to use it. I'm trying to- I, I want to use mix it up for everything. I really want to, but it's just not quite there yet. It's really good. It's really useful for a lot of lot for a lot of things, but um, mixed up's like another stream elements kind of idea. But it's it's like a one stop shop. You can do everything on it. You don't need to um Incendio. only have little bits. I don't know. You can do everything on it. It's great. Um, very an acrom- how? How do you do that? Yeah, mix it up's not very popular, especially in regards to stream elements and things. Um, I like it because I can put my commands and my um, channel points, um, cheers, follower, subscription, blah blah blah, things on it, and it doesn't seem... to use as much, I guess. I don't know how to describe it. I've been told it's really good and I was like, oh, I'll give it a go, and I've set it all up and it's all pretty good, but, um, I can't have cheers activated that are higher than a hundred bits and it's just annoying especially if people want to cheer more i feel like i'm slouching so much in my chair now <laughs> let me just adjust this a little bit now that i'm slouching I'm trying to look off my back a little bit let me just a little a little adjusting here yes there we go. I just feel like I was really low. I didn't like it. I don't like being that low. Low, 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 low. Jeepers, what have I done? <gasps> no! I almost closed my OBS. That would have been bad. That would have been very bad. I need that open so I can be here. With all of you. Okay, we're gonna have to do it like this, I think. Yeah, okay. I'm learning, we're getting there. You with another streamer? Yes. Are you cheating on me, Quince? I'm I thought you were low. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> Last night. Oh, <laughs> it's so easy to do. I've done that before. I'll be lurking one of my streamers, one of my streamers, uh, one of the streamers that I follow while I'm working from home. And I sometimes have the sound on. Very rarely I have the sound on. I just have it playing while I'm listening to YouTube or something else. And. <laughs> and, um. It's so easy to get carried away. You start a conversation, they start chatting with you, or you start chatting with people in chat. It just keeps going. Or like, I'll finish my Twitch stream and I'll go raid someone, then I'm stuck in the conversation with someone in their stream until the early hours of the morning, and I've gone, what have I done? What have I been doing? I have to have another hit. <laughs> you see what I'm here? Fair enough, I'll forgive it. <laughs> no, you're totally fine. Oh no. oh no. I have a feeling that house elf is Tobes. Master, if you find Tops' body, the big spider was too much. Tops has failed you and deserves his punishment. Tops feels weak, sleepy. Tops must. Oh, oh no. Tops. Left here alone with the spiders. <sighs> Could have passed away too long ago, either. Two reasons. Um, flesh is still on his body. And uh, the fire's still warm. It's not like on, but it's warm. Person was also awesome. music and conversation. Oh, I love that. Was this on Twitch? It 
so great when you can find the right people to vibe with and hang out with. Oh, I got a lace sorceress hat. Oh, tell Deke. Okay, I need to go back. Back we go. Whoops. Run, Karen, run! Ones. I go. Oh. My golly. Oh, so Stressful. What were you saying? <laughs> I thought originally the company is nice, and then yeah, we got to turning out music and songs and four hours later we parted ways. So easy to. Were they streaming a game or were they doing music stuff specifically? Oh, I hate seeing those little spiders come through the holes like that. So close to your face. What kind of music were they doing? Were they just drumming on a guitar and just having a chat with chat or? Tell me everything. I don't really sit in music chats. I know some music streamers, but I don't sit in them. Where do I go? I don't know where to go. Was I supposed to go the other way? I reckon I was meant to go out the other way. No, but then the big scary spider was this way. Which indicates to me that I was meant to come back this way. I just don't know how to get up there. Oh, streaming music from YouTube and saying their thoughts. Oh, that would have been interesting. Was it mostly pop sort of stuff? I'm assuming they are. Are they a producer? Are they like what kind of musician? Hootie and the Blowfish, let her cry, yes. They said they feel and get emotional when they hear it. Oh. There are some songs that just get you, hey.
Like it just it can it can get you on a whole other level. One that you don't expect. Whether it be the tone, whether it be the lyrics, whatever it is. I think they just admire and love music much like me, which is perfect. They're the kind of people you wanna watch and hang out with. Anyone that can help you in any way or you have things in common with anything. See now, I assumed I had to go back, but maybe, maybe it's out this way somewhere. Oh, is this water down here? Can I go down here? I guess I can go down here. It's over here. Am I just going around in circles now? Possible. Oh, this is new. That one hits hard. Oh, I do recall you saying. Oh no! Your health is low. Do you have any potions? Or food? That's not what I'm doing. What am I doing here? I'm going to this one because now we have. Oops, I want headgear, not facewear. Head headwear. Headwig. Oh, I'll wear this one. Yes, yeah, lovely. Yeah, I can get rid of you. As to songs. Oh, anything chat will suggest. Oh, I like that. How fun. Oh, it sounds like I had such a great time. Who was a streamer? You've intrigued me now. Anyone else that wants to find another music streamer over on Twitch? That table looks familiar. Seems I'm back at the entrance to the cave. We found it! Yay! Nope. It's just too far. Did you follow them? I assume you would chuck them a follow so you would know when they're live next. Oh! Wait! 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 I was not ready for this. Jeez. Okay. I put my controller down and everything. Yikes, my dude. I don't like to stream such a thing, but would my emotions get too much and bring chat down? I guess that depends, really. I think you'll learn what's right for you, too. Because music streamers can do great. Laxed, the um, music producer that's popped in from time to time. What the hell? Oh! Oh, I didn't realize. Bye! <laughs> nice knowing ya. Not interested. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. La la la. Oh, Flutterbys. Where are the Flutterbys? Oh! I'm not here! Oh, there's a thingy over here too. Maybe we go over here first. Oh. Bear Thank with you. me. Sweet, easy. Nice. Tried to sip myself a bit or put a sub identity, but yeah, music does hit hard a lot of the time. Fair enough. 
thousand years is currently playing. My music player. A thousand years by um what's her name? Christina Perry? Is that her name? Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Yep, he is also a pleasant surprise, haha. I used to love that song. I used to have that song on repeat. I loved you for a thousand years. I'm sorry! I didn't want to hurt you. I truly, I didn't. I was gonna think, how can I type that? It's all good. Oh, it does. Oh, it does. Used to be one of those songs that I'd, you know, <laughs> you know those songs where you lie in bed and just stare at the ceiling? <laughs> it was one of those. You know, people can hate on Twilight all they want to, um, but their soundtracks were on point. Their soundtracks were very, very good. <laughs> Okay, there's one here. Where's the other? There should be at least one more. Where's the one more? What on earth was that? Nathan! <laughs> Hello! How are you? Welcome, welcome! It's lovely to see you here. Welcome to see Karen getting into all kinds of mischiefs. It's a me. <laughs> Song hits me in the subs, even though I should be able to understand. There's no way anyone could live for a thousand years. It still hits though. How's your day been, Nathan? How's your week going? Let's see. Have I been here? I feel like I must have been here before. Oh my gosh! Random moose? I mean, that's pretty cool, I must say. I should really get a bed, been up since four. Oh my gosh! I'm impressed and terrified. <laughs> oh, it's this place! Oh yeah, no, I don't need to be here. Terrified because um, 4 a.m. is stupid early. Uh, and I refuse to get up that early. I like the idea of being able to get up that early. Uh, it just doesn't always happen. <laughs> but hey, we can uh, <laughs> we can help chill you out for the evening. You can fall asleep to the soothing sound of my voice. <laughs> so dreams, Nathan. It's lovely to see you here. Even briefly. Oh, it's so cool that all our clothes and stuff get wet. Oh, I'm easily impressed. I'm easily impressed. Oh, we are we are searching. We are searching for the manager. There is too much happening here that is putting too many lives at stake. <laughs> Karen is very, very displeased with Hogwarts. I mean, Forbidden Forest, there's children. Her being one of them. <laughs> Thanks, Nathan. Have a good night. It was lovely to see you even briefly. I really do appreciate it. Other than that, I thought maybe if your legacy or such carry through generations, then very possible. That's true. No, no, that makes sense. And I guess people say that too. It's like people will live on in memory. Yeah, no? Like I've heard at funerals, you know, you'll... You'll be alive as long as I live or, or whatever it is. Because it's... in memory. I was just where I needed to be and now I've lost it. Dang. Oh well. 
Oh, it's so cute. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There we go. We're trying to get our bearings here. Hi, Wing. I did a music stream a long time ago. I've thought about doing another one. Actually, I've done two music streams. One of them we wrote a song together, which I have a clip of. And the other one... I have very little... on. Because it was all copywritten music, so I can't do anything with it anyway. You may have was a metal rock music. It started off. It started off with poppy music and then it ended with um, metal. <laughs> it was good fun. It was a really fun stream. I have thought about doing it again. If I get to a point where I'm streaming four or five days a week, I'll probably throw another one in. Um, but now I'm only streaming twice a week on different platforms. Probably not. I don't know if it was a dedicated one, just a one down, like a one off. Yeah, it would have been a one off. I was hoping to make it a monthly thing, so once a month I'd have a music stream because a lot of people really enjoyed it. But, um. I just don't stream enough, I don't think, to be able to do it at the moment. We're working towards it. Got a lot of things on me plate that I'm working through at the moment. Did see another version of you. Oh, that would have been a metal stream, yeah. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm a bit of everything. Which is great. You know, you are, you, <laughs> yeah, you hang out with me, you have like 10 people in one. <laughs> Come on, high wing, down we go. Wait, high wing. Oh, oh. Maybe I can't land here. Rude. This is really pretty just above the water, though. What about here? Can we land here? There we go. Have seen all the versions of Q? I don't think I have. I'd be surprised if I had. Oh my gosh, it's all wet now. Ooh. Come on, Karen, you can do it. Oh, well you can do that, I suppose. Oh yeah, I suppose you could get up on the stairs. At the risk of sounding heartless, you've seen a few, but not all. Why heartless? That's fine. No dramas to me. Black Lake, the Black Lake or Great Lake, the sitting headmaster vainly prefers the prior, of course. Is an expense of fresh water south of the castle. The lake's murky depths are home to mer people, Grindelows, Grindelows, and other magical aquatic beasts and beings, including the giant squid, a surprisingly friendly cephal cephalopod with a fondness for toast. There you go. You've seen thinking, pondering cues, soppy, soppy cue, quirky, odd cue. <laughs> It's a good mix to be. It's a good mix to be. Hold Did I on. tell you I've been in touch with the ministry about the art? Thank you again for retrieving that Mermish artifact for me. Fascinating. Truly fascinating. Oh, yeah, we gave it back to her. Widow. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys can watch some fireworks. Romeo wants me. One sec. Ha <laughs> ha 
I'm back. I think just in time too, because the sound just finished for me. Where's that where they are? You sneaky boys. I'm glad that you at least came out this way. What if I had to have a stern talking with them if they were doing it in the grounds and not out here? Card Maraku, yes. Tad light music interest cue. <laughs> also yes. <laughs> That's it so far. So far, yes. What's your favourite genres of music? I feel like we've spoken about this before. See, now Karen has a problem with all these steps for a multitude of reasons. One, there are far too many. People can get a heart attack on these stairs from far too much exercise. Um, two, there are far too many steps. <laughs> if someone trips on it and breaks their bone... Imagine how long it's going to take to, for someone to find them. Eighties, nineties, two thousands. Yeah, those are good times. That's that was good music. Completely biased. <laughs> A little more. Genre I find hard to say. Ah, oh, fair enough. I'm a bit like that too, to be honest. I'm like, I like this genre. They're like, oh, but that's not... That kind of music's not that genre. And I'm like, but... <laughs> Why is there a cat wrapped up? Do they petrify a pet cat? More things to complain about. Add that to our little notebook. And list... Well, I can't even use that yet. Is that 90, 90, 60, 60? We can get rid of that. Oh, I got a random shiver. They're not even worth it. Pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. I don't know why I'm walking to the room of requirement when I can map over to the room of requirement. Easier. Work smarter, not harder. Yes, yes. What's your go-to artist or... Oh, yep. Yeah. In the end, yes. Is rock and I said it was some other genre. Ah, uh, yeah. No, that's fair enough, because a lot of songs that bleed over a few different genres, or there's newer genres. So, I completely, I completely understand that. <laughs> I, I've done that too. I'm like, oh, I really like... Yeah, I'm a big fan of punk. And then I'll name a song and they're like, that's not punk, that's pop. And I'm like... Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Deke. I'm back from the cave, Deke. Wonderful. Uh, uh, Deke hopes you gave Deke's best to Tobbs. <sighs> I'm sorry to tell you this, Deke, but Tobbs is gone. It seems he was unable to avoid the spiders in the end. Oh my. <laughs> Deke was afraid of this, alone in that cave for so long. <laughs> You're obviously very oh, intrigued, Quince. <laughs> <laughs> Deacon Tobbs once shared the same master when he died. We were separated. Deke always wished Tobbs had been sent to Hogwarts too. Well, Deke feels lucky to serve such kind witches and wizards like you. Deke will miss his friend dearly and will raise a glass to him with a heavy heart. <laughs> mm. <laughs> 
It's wise to move it's on. It's time to move on, Deke. There's nothing to be oh, done. Oh, sure, my face is in the camera. understands, Deke could use some time alone to think if that's all right. Well, that was easy. All right, let's do this stuff. Let's get this out of the way. We're all hopeless anyways. Right, well, let's go on to the quests then, shall we? Let's... the lost child, maybe? Rock set. Rock set's good band. I'm also really bad with bands and um, songs, unless I specifically used to look them up and listen to them consistently. Um, they are... Uh... If he came to me and was like, hey, do you like the band Roxette? I'd be like, yeah, I like the band Roxette. They'd be like, what's your favorite song? I'd be like... Couldn't tell ya. But if you play a couple, I'll tell you which one. <laughs> Same with like, oh, I really like this song. Oh, so you like this band? I'm like, I don't, I don't know which band plays this song, um, but I like this song. Like, oh, so you like name of song? And I went, is that what this song's called? <laughs> There's one song that always gets me called The Scientist. I never know what it sounds like, but I've heard it so, like, I know the song. But if he asked me to sing The Scientist, I'd be like, I don't know. I don't know who it's by either. You know what? Let's, um... Well, first things first, we're gonna go sell some stuff so we have, uh, space. Some of us have one or two and the others have got a whole album. Yeah, I'm like that. I'm gonna sound real basic bitchy for a sec. I love Taylor Swift. I've always loved her. I loved her from the early days. Travel broadens the mind. Um, and for her, I love albums. But uh, who's won recently? <sighs> Ava Max. Mind now, dummy guys. Ava Max, I like some of her songs, but I don't like her on albums. Love Story, classic. Blank Space, I love Blank Space. It's a good song. Her album Lover, I didn't love as much, ironically, as some of the other ones. But I just, I think it just came out at the time that I didn't want to listen to it. <laughs> you know? Scientist sounds like a Coldplay or Radiohead title. It might be. I'll have to look it up. We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. Best imagine that Shelby Cobra, however. Oh. What can I do for you today? You can buy all my stuff. Please and thanks. What is that? Asylum mask? Yikes. Maybe Karen needs one. <laughs> Shut her up. Love that I can make all this money. Money, 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 money. Sick, wonderful, excellent. Thank you I for your time. You again. Farewell for now. Yes, well. Love to know how they done that clip. Oh, in um, was it blank space? Yeah. Like you say, Shelby Cobra. I thought it was something else, but I think you're talking about the black car that she smashes with the golf club. Is that the one? And that that was painful to watch. Yes, yep. 
Nope, I must say I do agree with this one, Nils. Nils. Back on the pot. No. Where are we going? World's map. Oh, we're going. Oh, I don't even know where we're going. What? Whoops. I suppose we're going over here somewhere then, yeah? I guess so. Special toy egg. <laughs> That's fair enough. I don't want to go to the map chamber. That's not what I was doing, was it? That's not what I clicked on, is it? Oh, it was. Oh, no, it was. No, no, that was intentional. Never mind. I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. Didn't even question me. Or do, because I totally warranted. Um, yeah, we're gonna go, we're gonna go straight here and we're gonna, we're gonna I can zippy zappy to it, you know? This is where we're going. I just noticed we had a subscriber recently. Girl Gamer? Welcome to the family. Thank you so much for your sub. To my channel. I don't know if that was there when I started or not. I only just noticed it on my screen now. Don't need search Taylor Swift Smash 69 Shelby Cobra Google. I may find something I don't want to find. <laughs> I don't think you will. But if you look up um, blank space behind the scenes. Taylor Swift blank space BTS music video. Um, you might find more what you're looking for. I can't get over this. You would be wise I would love if I could interact with it. Their aptitude for magic is beyond anything I've ever seen. And I've been teaching a long time. It is a old? joy to have such a student. Chris. It can be. There you are. Round and round and round we go. Oh, I'm getting dizzy. I received your owl. I was able to speak with Lodgok, the goblin I mentioned before. Well, what did you learn? He and Ranrock were close once. But they had a falling out. You believe he can be trusted? Difficult to say. I don't he know. I don't trust anyone. Mm. Difficult to know, really. But Sorona Ryan trusts him. Well, that's something, I suppose. Supposing he can be trusted, will he help us get to Ranrock? I retrieved a stolen helm that he hopes to return to Ranrock in order to regain his confidence. You have been busy. Let's hope your efforts result in our learning something about Ranrock's plans. Lodgok did mention that Ranrock is searching for something, but he couldn't say what. Perhaps that helm will yield some answers. Ranrock is searching for something? I feared as much. I've heard an unusual amount of activity, goblins and wizards, I surmise, when visiting my portrait at my castle. Rookwood Castle? My former residence, yes. That castle is also the location of your next trial. I have I'm sorry news. to tell you that Victor Rookwood, evidently your descendant, is a dark wizard in league with Ranrock. My descendant? A dark wizard? I'm afraid we've no time to waste. Despite the obstacles that clearly await you, you must get to Rookwood Castle immediately. Not only is it the location of the next trial, it is home to a source of power that would be devastating in the wrong hands. I do wish we had the luxury of time. However, I do not doubt your abilities. Find my portrait there as soon as you can. Very well, sir. I'm on my way. Best of luck. No, no, you're talking. She lies through her teeth. No time to waste. I'll meet you at Rookwood Castle. Okay. 
Another song or artist. Well, at the moment, and I, well, okay. Another artist I like, um, Electric Cowboy. Big fan. They're great. Little Big, also very great. Weird Al Yankovic. Love Weird Al Yankovic. Excuse my disgusting hiccups. Oh, no way. We have some we can zap over with. Excellent. Um, Electric Cowboy. Little Big. Weird Al Yankovic. Oh, Sleep Token. Would highly recommend Sleep Token. I have listened to Sleep Token before they were cool, thanks to Cinnamon, because he was listening to them. He had a prediction at the beginning of this year too, he's like, you know what, this is the year that Sleep Token takes off, and Sleep Token has taken off. And he's like, what, what did I tell you? And they're doing a world tour and they sold out and we couldn't go see him. He's like, I've been listening to these guys for years. Little years, he's been. Enjoy suffering, do you? I'm not quiet enough. Let's finish this job and be done with it. Waste of time. Over here! Music enthusiast? Never heard of anything you just said. The man's got insight, maybe we need to talk. I know, it's the second time he's done something like that too. I forgot what the first band was. Um, I wonder if you'd like Sleep Token. If you like the R, uh, it's not quite rocky though. Mm. Oh, ACDC. Can't go wrong with ACDC. Taylor Swift already said that. Um... Used to love One Way or Another by Blondie. <sighs> What's that other song? There's another song that I really liked listening to, but I can't remember it now. It's one of those ones that Cinnamon will just put on because it's like, oh, it's one of the ones that I like. And I'm just like, hmm. Glorious. Great question. I don't remember it. <laughs> Let me put it up on my phone, because I don't want to get copyright struck. So I got this to a little bit. Ah, itchy. Actually, there's one or two Olivia Rodrigo songs that I've been enjoying as well. Oh yeah! That one became a bit of an earworm for me. It's not one that I'd go back to, but it was one that's like, if it came on, I'd be like, oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'd get into this. Yeah, yeah. Not one that I'd go back for. Why is Jeremy such awful about that? They should embrace his brings in views. It does, but those artists also have their own ways of earning money here. And it is copyright so anyway twitch has the same twitch will also copyright strike it's everywhere it's just copyright it's just how the law works <clears throat> yeah what's going on here professor rookwood was right the place is crawling with victor rookwood's lot and ranrock's loyalists they're working together all right but it is not a friendly alliance. I'm sure you'll agree that we need to find a way in other than the front gate. Let's go. Why? Why not going guns are blazing? Very pussy. Wow. Wow. 
didn't know I was dealing with a pussy. Wow. Meanwhile, Karen runs in. Yeah, it's like a lot of work. Blah, 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 blah. The Twitch I was watching was showing streaming it. Oh, no, absolutely. So while you're streaming, play whatever you want. That's completely fine. Once you stop streaming, if you go back to his channel and you look at his VOD, I don't know what it stands for, um, but go back to his VOD, so like his previous stream, it'll all be muted or not there at all. That's all. While you're streaming, they can't do anything because they're not sitting there watching your stream to be able to do anything about it. But afterwards, you can't keep it there. That's all. So I could totally play it. It'll just be muted for anyone that wants to watch this stream back again later. Which, more than anything, I just prefer to leave as much as I can. Oh, heck yeah, I got both of them. It's gotten very loud suddenly. Thank you very much. Home by Philip Phillips. I don't know if I know that one. Oh, you know an album that I love that I've been getting back into? Actually, there's a few. <laughs> They're all Disney. <laughs> Tarzan soundtrack and Hercules soundtracks. Big fan of them both. I think you'd like Go the Distance from Hercules. You sound like a lyrical person. The lyrics in that are, are really good. You can't stop Red Rats Rebellion! Give me this. Where's the other one? Where are we attacking, friend? Oh, did we get him? I guess we got him. Nice. I don't know if I know those two. Look up um, Go the Distance from Hercules. Oh, up there. I think that's I think that's can. I think you would resonate with that one. <gasps> I want the dragon. Oh my goodness. Can can we be friends? 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 Oh, friends? Yeah, yeah, from Disney. That's the one. I have often dreamed of a far off place where a great warm welcome will be waiting for me. And the crowds will cheer as they see my face. And a voice keeps saying, This is where I'm meant to be. I'm on my way. Have fun. If I'd known your plan was to dig up half the country. I wouldn't have to dig if you could simply manage to bring me the child. You're the one right here. You wouldn't need the child if you hadn't sent a dragon to retrieve the container. I spent months and countless ministry favors tracking. You but I want the dragon. Carriage. My options were limited once I knew it would be inconveniently beyond my reach at that infernal school. Have you not acquired enough power here? I allowed you to tunnel under my family home. I'll 
about me. You are here only because you are descended from a keeper and may at some point inadvertently become valuable. We had an agreement. I will share with you the power that I discovered if you locate the stores of magic that are yet to be found. So, unless you want another demonstration of my power, a power that you one day hope to wield, Little stuck up, ain't you? Whoa. Well, 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 well. We already knew they were after you, but now we know they're digging for stores of magic. Yeah. And Ranrock knows about the keepers. Yes, I caught that too. Professor Rookwood said that you'd understand more once you complete the next trial. Let's get into that castle. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, let's um hide, let's hide the tide. <laughs> and get ready. Oh, damn it! Any special word you want me to pass on to your mum? I ain't got a mum. Strokes on you! Is he? There he is. Bing bang. What? Boom. Amazing, wonderful, grand, easy, easy game. I said, got some good feel to it. Very good. I thought you'd like some of the lyrics in that. I like listening to it when I'm feeling a little beaten down. Kind of like, yeah, I'm, I'm on a journey. It's not about the end goal. It's about the getting there. And the fact that I can get back up and keep going is is more important than than the end result. For me, anyways. That's what I personally get out of it. And, you know, everyone's different. How they respond to and react and... whatnot. What's another good song from those? I reckon you would like a lot of Tarzan songs, I think. I like Strangers Like Me, but I just like the sound of it. <laughs> What's, um... I think it's like a little there's there's two or three Tarzan songs that come to mind that I I I personally I love them. Um but as far as lyrics and stuff go, uh something world where are you? Oh, you're still stuck back here. <laughs> What's that? Not your best I can't even get up onto it. 
Wow. Bold arrow is coming from someone that can't even get up. Oh, that works. Great. Wonderful. You saw my music and she'd be like, yes, nice. Uh-huh. What the? Okay. Uh <laughs> Mine is very much like that. I have musicals. I have Disney. I have metal. I have rock. I have pop. I have opera. I have classical. <laughs> I have country. So no judgment here by any means. I love everything. It just depends on the sound of the song or the lyrics. I'm very into the lyrics of songs. That's where most of my interests and whatnot come from. Is it worth going over here? Probably not. I don't know if there's anything worth it. What would be your favorite artist at the moment? Because I, I go on rotation. As does everyone else. Everyone has a, at the moment, I really like listening to this. Like right now, I love listening to pop. I love listening to, okay as much as I hate to admit it. They've become earworms and I can't get them out of my head. But all those songs on TikTok and Instagram, those ones that go viral, they're stuck in my head and I have to listen to them because they're stuck in my head. You know what I mean? Where'd he go? Why'd you just zap? Why would you just zap? Oh, because you zapped yourself down. Woo! Whoops. I suppose that's the quick way down. Home by Philip Phillips. Tug on the heart. Adele earlier stuff. Yeah. Adele's good. Adele's grown on me. I never used to be... Is there something to those symbols on the walls? I never used to be an Adele fan. I liked her stuff, but it wasn't like... You know what I mean? Am I getting in my way, sir? What the hell? Rebellion. There is. I've seen symbols like these before. Which just of them, then class at them quickly in succession. We've already done it, Karen. You don't, you don't need to sp explain it to me. What I love, okay, I also love songs where you can sort of belt out music. Like Adele's really good for belting. I like singing along. Goblin tracks. There are step Revenues. ahead. Let's see where yeah. they lead. Nothing here. Oh no, I've got the hiccups. This must be it. The store of magic and the source of Ranrock's power. It looks empty. If they've taken all of it, why are they still here? Branrock said there's more to be found, and if he's right about that, it may or may not be located here. Wherever mm. it is, we need to find it before they do. Where is that portrait? We'll find him soon. I guess to take it easy on me. Yeah. But it's not like I'd have it on repeat, but if it's someone like you, I could have that on repeat many times. I do it, yeah. I heard something. I was hoping that was you. Yeah, there's... I agree. Her early stuff was really good. I do like Easy On Me only because it's a good belty song. And another earworm that got stuck in my head. <laughs> but someone like you was a lot of fun too. Professor Rookwood. Like the I like her sound. Have overrun your castle, are digging for stores of magic, and have broken open some sort of container. No, things are more dire than I could have imagined. If, as you told Percival, a goblin in his vault was wielding a powerful magic, then they have somehow learned. It cannot be. And sir, they know you were a keeper. Ranrock used the term. This makes no sense. How did? We shall discuss this later. Right now, you must complete the next trial. Okay. I deserve to know Sir, more. Sir, surely I've proven myself. 
In light of what's happened, perhaps you should tell me everything now. The of course. The power you stand to wield must first be fully understood. But the I, Miss Smith, power without knowledge must is know. dangerous indeed. In the wrong hands, we will simply have to outwit Ranrock. And my unfortunate saying namesake. I don't have Very the right well, head? Professor. Tell me where I need to go. I shall wow. reveal the path. Professor Fig must leave you now. Oh. Well, it's nice knowing you, Fig. Where are we going? Over here? Oh. I guess right here. <laughs> That's too fast for the game. I would join you if I could. I shall Trial await time. your arrival in the map chamber. Okay. Funny, sad, odd story. When I first saw someone like you, I was at a drive through at KFC and I got a tear. Oh, really? You never know when, especially the first time that you hear a song. I like to listen to the lyrics as well. And the sound of it too. I don't know. I, I, can, I can completely understand why you would have that reaction. When I got to the bay, one of the asked if I was like, if I was okay, I was like, yep, but I don't think they know it got me upset. I need to reposition that pillar to climb out of here. Perhaps the archway is the answer. Oh my god, wow, carrying yourself? Sorry. Mm. Like, and duh, obviously. We gotta activate it first. Let's have a look, see here, shall we? Shall we? Okay. Oh, is there something I can do over here? No? Not really? Okay, great. Lovely. It's nice they asked about you though. Whoop. Checked on you to see if you're okay. Oh, jeebus! Okay, that's not what I was expecting. <laughs> Oopsies. Oh my god, you scared me. Hi, puppy. My Celine Dion admirer? I wouldn't say so. Nothing against her, I just haven't gotten into her music. Why? Are you? Do you enjoy her music? Is this the bridge? Yay! <laughs> I love these steps. They're so fun. Such a fun mechanic. Oh, ugh. this one does it too. Oh, oh, okay. I'm so uncomfortable. <laughs> Oh, what's over here? Oh! Would you look at that? <laughs> cool. Anything here? Nope. The concern was nice when I said, yep. Let's see yep with the whim. Good thing they asked further. Her 90s age stuff, it's all of her later stuff, but not new, new stuff I don't like. And the reason why I even know of Celine Dion, like many other people, please correct me if I'm wrong. Oh! Um. That pillar is blocking the path. I'll need to move it. You don't say, dear. Was that it? Oh my gosh, I'm so good at this game. Are you kidding? Now look, I know I've played this through once before, but I've forgotten some of these. <laughs> Just hitting things home for the best. Ouch. 
Bing, bang, boom. Oh, oops. Oh. Yeah, I'm really good at this game. Titanic, yeah, isn't that where Celine is from? Did you think my heart would go on? Is that someone else? <laughs> where you are. Ba -ba 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 -ba. My heart will go on and on. I thought I dodged to stop that. Oh, nice. Bing, bang, bang. What a dodge. Oh, nice. Nice. Decapitated. Should have done that song for that, yes. Yeah. That's the only thing that I know. I read someone, James Cameron, wasn't an original fan of her. Oh, really? How interesting. And yet he used her music. Interesting. Okay. Anything else around here that we can? I, I can't go through I it. To the left here. Oh. But how? Oh. Hello. Thank you. Happy to take that. Oh, what's in here? Anything? Ravenia. No. Nothing. Nothing of interest. Nothing at all. Doesn't look like it. Oh. That still stays there, though. Oh. What if I hit it through the blue? Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. Alrighty then. Oh, that one's got blue. Is that also blue? That's also blue. What? I don't hit the mark on the far wall. That sort of thing has repositioned the archways in the past. <laughs> but how do I direct which way it goes? You know what, let's give that for a sec. Let's go over here. Is there another one that appears whilst I'm over here? Perhaps. Potentially. Anything else come up? Nope. I'm just going crazy, am I? I guess I can probably say I could talk about music like a cars a lot. That's good! Techno Electronica? Love it. Actually, I've been really getting into EDM when I work, but I need it sped up. I can't have it as the, um, I can't have it at the tempo that it sits at. Am I stupid? I just did that, didn't I? And I stopped myself and I was like, oh no, I, oh. I'm 
stupid. <laughs> I'm probably half asleep, it's probably part of it. Okay. Okay. Do you like... I don't know the genre EDM, but that genre. Yeah, EDM is electronic dance music. There's a pillar here, but no ledge near it for me to grab onto. Easy. Easy peasy. Make some stumble. Oh, our ouchies. Please ask, do you like electronic music? Is what I was going to ask. Just getting back into the... Nope. Where's the red one? There. Okay, so that gets me that. Uh... Okay, well I know this rotates it. What does this do here? Putting those marks readjusts the archways. Perhaps there's a way forward from the other side of this one. God's kitchen gate crasher? Oh, I don't know those. Don't know those artists. How weird. Okay, so... Hmm. So this one... Gets me this. But I don't get... Oh, okay. Nope, that doesn't help. Alrighty. Is it possible to pull one of those blocks through the archway? Oh! I can really get through it this way. What? Oh, maybe I go around this way? No. I go through this way? Uh huh, okay. And then I go over here maybe? And then maybe I actually are you over here, maybe? And now that I'm in here... Oops. Now that I'm here, maybe I can do it this way. Creed! A band that I'm aware of, but a band that I have forgotten... <laughs> what they sound like! This is what I'm really good at doing. I'm really good at um, knowing, but not really knowing. You know what I mean? Am I sneaking in through here? What if I can I? Oh, I can. Sweet. After pulling the block out through the archway, I can place it where it can be climbed on while on the other side of the archway. But yes. 
But then how do I get up on the thing? If I smack that. All on the floor, smack that. Give me some more, smack that. Do you oh, what if? Hear me out now, children. Hear me out. What if we bring that over here? Whoops. Yeah, amazing. Wonderful. What? Now that's red. Do I have to... What? And now blue. Why aren't you working? Thank you. Oh, you're just stuck. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. I am a loud sneezer. Um. Okay, well, that's not gonna work, I suppose. See, I thought I had to jump up from it here. And then I thought maybe I have to jump up through the thing and then hit the thing to rotate the thing. It's just not working that way, though, is it? You know? Like... Hmm. If I can need to jump on it, then while I'm on it I can rotate it, you know? But I need to get on it first. I wanna... Okay, well let me put you over here. Again. And then let's see if that works. Maybe. This might be what I need to do. Alrighty, let's give this a go, shall we? Oh wait, but oh, okay. I see what the problem is. I don't know if you've ever had MSN Messenger. Uh, yes, had a feature where it showed what you were listening to. Oh, I don't think I ever used it for that. I remember spamming people with nudges and um, those emotes. <laughs> those animated emotes. They were good. MSN was, was the shit, man. Why, why are you hogging the spotlight? What do you mean? <laughs> I feel like that's right. Is there anything else that I can be using? Rebellion. Is there anything else that I'm missing? No. Hmm. Hmm. Because now what if I rotate that? Because then I get that, right? Which is great.
but I don't know how to get this full thing through. Just you and me chatting. That's totally fine. That's why I stream. I stream to hang out. I'm not hugging the spotlight. No one else is talking. <laughs> I'm just trying to work out how to do this damn puzzle. This is where I got stuck last time and then I went to sleep and I tried it again the next day and I did it no drama. But now I'm struggling. <laughs> Can I bring it through? I don't think I can. ICQ? Oh! I was like, what's ICQ? <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I knew MSN! I wasn't around for the ICQ times! I can't help you in game, I have no idea. That's all good. I'm more just annoyed that I... I've done this before and I don't remember how to do it. You know? Because now if I go through here... Jack unfollowed <laughs> No monkey <laughs> I'm not that bad. Actually you know what I did do today? I'm not proud of myself for doing it. But on Twitter and uh, threads I said I used the term Riz in a sentence. In regards to my my game, putting the riz on. <laughs> I once spent hours on a single. Did you? I think it's ICQ. Oh, ICQ. I seek you. Ah, that's clever. That's so clever. Wow. Okay, well that's there, but then I lose the thingy. Cause that thingy's in blue. What is Riz? See, I had to learn that too. Uh, it's short for charisma. The way I've understood it to be used. Lycal, how are you? Welcome back. It's lovely to see you. How's your crochet going? How's your turtle? How's, what do we end up calling them? Shrek something. Hello. <laughs> um, Riz, Riz is short for charisma and it's used in, uh, Like, I'm going to woo you, I think. It's probably the best way that I can sort of translate it. I'm going to impress you. I'm going to not seduce you. But I'm going to put the riz on 
Blah. You made a flower bag? How cute! Are there any flowers in your flower bag? What color is your flower bag? I think I'll stay in my little bowl. Oh, yeah. Treak, because he had three legs. <laughs> Had this sorted because then I go through here and then I jump on and then got no rears, got no yeah 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 these Gen Z's man I don't know can I just you know use my broom to get up there <laughs> Akio broom. Akio fireball. No. It's a pink one. How cute. Do crocheting getting better? Are you happy with your progress? Can I bring it? Okay, so I can't bring it all the way through. But that doesn't really help anyone, does it? No. I have it halfway through. And then if I go through here... Does that make it full block? No. Does standing on this side make it full block? No, because it's in the middle. Fair enough. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's a funky little development right there. Okay, so now I've got that. But see, now I'm too... Do I have this on the right side? Wait... Does this work this way? I want that all the way up. Or... Can it go further forward without me going through? I don't want to... Possibly I didn't actually do it, I've just done the same thing twice. <laughs> Did I? Oh my gosh! Ah! Oh. And then I can... I feel like I need an applause for that one. Oh my goodness, that was a lot of trial and error. I don't remember how I did it. I pulled the block through the color, but I forgot which color was on which one. Oh, <sighs> okay. I made another turtle, but way bigger. Same color, different colors. It's like a big brother, big sister, mummy, daddy. Caregiver, aunt, uncle. I thought these young pups or puppets had their own language. Then I see I have my own words. So we're similar, but also not so. Yeah. Oh, that's funky. We've got our own words. AFK apparently is a newish thing. I've been learning at work that no one knows what AFK means. They had to Google it. I had to Google it that personally. Um, what else do we have? OMW, YOLO, uh, BRB.
Lol. <laughs> Are you lighting up? Are you... Yeah, okay. Oh! Rude. Boom chaka laka laka. These are boomers, right? That don't know AFK? Yeah. Oh, and lol? Yeah, they, they do use lol. I'm trying to think what else. Um... What else my gen used? Um, Lots of love, obviously. <laughs> I sign all of my emails off with LOL. Oh, I have max Wiccan World potions. Okay. Means laugh out loud to me. Why? What does it mean to you? What does it mean to you guys? What's going on? Spooky. Oh, more Wiccan World? <laughs> Are you trying to tell me something, game? The fact that I've maxed out my Wigan world, I'm pretty confident that I'd be A-OK, -okay, you know? Ooh. I can't get over these bridges and these moving walkways. They're the coolest thing ever. Ooh. There's another one right here. <laughs> Grandma died, lol. <laughs> oh, it's too funny to me. Oh, I didn't realize there was another one here. You're a big boy. Oh goodness, that was close one. Oh. Oh, ouchie, ouchie, ouchies. I need to go on this side. Is it this side? Oh! <gasps> Why is it so red? Oh, you're over there? Okay. Don't mind me then. What? A block. Smack. Glacius. And Fringo. Kaboom. I'm an old spirit confirmed. Oh, bother. Righty ho. Wonderful. Amazing. Love that for me.
do bear with me, chat. I will be with you in just a moment. You know what I will do real quick? Um, we're gonna go here maybe? Maybe here? Mm, all of it's pretty good so far, right? Maybe we go this one. Let's replace that with... Oh, Bombarda! Where's Bombarda? Don't I have it yet? Oh, not yet. Never mind. Expelliarmus isn't gonna do anything. Descendo, nothing, nothing, nothing. I want Crucio. Let's go Crucio, shall we? Woo! What is that from over there? Damn. Zip zap zap! Let me just grab all this real quick. Get a couple of bonuses going, you know? Okay, good to know. I have to do the thingy on that one. Oops, I need to stop doing that. Oopsies. My golly. Oh, stop doing that. Welcome back! How is life treating you? What's going on? How's work? Is everything going well? Had three meetings. Oh. My boss is going through that at the moment, actually. It's just like... What for? They're like, oh my god, guys, we're so busy. Um, yeah, can you... Reflect that, please? What's the point? Well, hope this does something. Boom. Kaboom. I did not need to use that. That was an accident. Ah, oh, easy. What a relief. What a relief is right, my dear. Lovely. Let's go. More story, more story, more story. Oh, quick, uh, quick, uh, quick thing. We're about to do a bit of a story bit. Um, feel free to mute during this if you don't want story. Um, just click back every now and again when you are ready to, uh, just check in. 
If it looks like a cinematic, it's a story. But once we're out, um, I will be bidding the farewell. But until then, we're gonna do a quick little bit of story time. And then, uh, yeah. You have been warned in five seconds. Well, actually, first I'm gonna say, my face! Lego, do you mean my scar? Do you mean my cyst? The thing that was cut out of my face? Though I'm odd, I type a lot of my words out, so very rarely should be misunderstood. <laughs> That's all good. Story time. Always story time. Um... My scar's going well, if that's what you're asking about. It's healing up really nicely. I need to massage it more. I don't massage it enough. And every time I remember, I'm like, I don't have my oil or anything to just sort of sit and massage it really well. So, um, it's, it's healing, which is good. It's looking a lot better than it used to. Okay. Hogwarts Legacy story time in five, four, three. This is part of the actual storyline if you don't want spoilers. Two... One. Mute. I'll let go. You. Well then my face is good. And it is tired. How are you going, Lego? Do you have time for an afternoon nap? I hope everyone gets time for a nap during your day. I must say I'm curious to hear of Isidore's travels. Do come in. Please, have a seat. Isadora, we are all most intrigued to hear. We're ready. I've something to show you. Father, these are my colleagues from Hogwarts. Father hasn't spoken since my brother died. On my travels, I confirm that which I've always believed. That we have the power to take away pain. She's a skillful witch, I'll give her that. What have you done? I took his pain. This is uncharted magic, Isadora. You can only see what has been sealed in the jar, and we do not know what power that may hold. But the traces of that magic are different from what I've seen before. Thank you. She is a powerful and, and very smart wizard. Which, which that one? That lady. My hubble when I finished work. We got date stuff to plan. <gasps> you're excited, Lego. I'm so happy for you that you've got. Like you're. There's always a part of me that's not worried. But um, curious how. Um, some people can go from one. Relationship straight into the next one. It's not an official relationship. I know you're dating. Um. Not like, how could you, but just like, uh, how are the feelings going? Because honeymoon phase is always a thing. But I'm genuinely so happy to hear that it's, <coughs> it sounds genuine, which I love. And you're happy, and that's amazing. Makes me happy. You were gonna go? Are you <laughs> well, it happens. <laughs> My puppy? Is he not here? Oh, he must have 
disappeared to the couch. He's been going to the lounge room a lot lately. Very rude. He used to always sleep behind me. That was his constant. That's where he sat. That was his go-to spot. <sighs> so rude. Feels natural. Oh, good. I'm so... It's nice that it feels natural. That it feels... Like, it doesn't feel forced. It just feels like, hey. You're back. And in one piece, no less. Of course. I'm amazing. It is good to see you again. Oh, Professor love break Rookwood stuff. Such a good told song. told me about what happened at Rookwood Castle. In light of the dire circumstances in which we find ourselves, it is most fortunate that someone so competent is following this path. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep this second artifact safe, as you've advised. Good. Are you ready to move on? Just one of those days when you don't want to wake up. Every day. Ugh. Everything is fucked. Everybody sucks. Yeah. So every day? <laughs> it's all about the he said, she said bullshit. It's a good song. It's a good song. She made your ass of Mortal Kombat too. If I ever play Deception with anyone and you give me Melina. Once I got you hooked, although I don't need any, any of those games. Once, once you're hooked. Sorry, sorry, Lego, sorry. Just a good song. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> I remember you, monkey. Do you like, do, would Fred and McNeil to call you Ku? True, Lego, true. I'm, I'm the one keeping this family friendly. Thank you very much. <laughs> Yeah, we're a what sticky beak. What was the stand that Isadora pulled from her father's chest? It was... pain. You will understand more about her actions as you complete the trials. Or you could just tell me. Gosh. I'm ready for whatever comes next. In that case, introductions are in order. Allow me to introduce <laughs> former like Hogwarts <laughs> headmistress, Neve Fitzgerald. I love the name Neve. Every time I look at it, I'm like, that's not Neve. <laughs> How do you do? Okay. Okay. I must say that I was not entirely surprised to learn that a student had been completing the trials. I've always believed Hogwarts students capable of anything they set their minds to. Thank you, Professor. It's a pleasure to meet you as well. I am certain that you are more than capable of completing my trial. However, I must first, how shall I say, prepare the location of your next trial. We trust your judgment, Professor Fitzgerald. You should know better than anyone how to manage the inconvenience of, well... A vainglorious and exasperating headmaster? Indeed I should. I shall confirm that everything is in order immediately. Mm. Of course. Professor Fitzgerald needs some time to clear the way forward. Until then, you should continue to hone your magic. If you learn more about Ranrock and Victor Rookwood's activities in the meantime, please let us know. Very well, mm, maybe. Oh, I mean, yes, definitely. Uh -huh. Maybe the first, first people I speak to. Uh -huh. I know, I know. Continue to hone my magic. You do learn quickly. Well. Hopefully you will soon hear from Lodgok as well. And we shall learn how he fared with the helmet you retrieved. Well mm. done today, as always. We shall speak again soon. Shall we, Fig? Shall we really? Mm. Mm. It's winter! Hey, Ange would be happy about that. Because no, it comes with winter? I don't want a lot for Christmas. There is just one thing I need. <laughs> Amazing. Fantastical. How long have we been playing? How long have we been playing this game? Not bad. Not bad, not bad, not bad. 
Ah, where are we going? We're going here, we're going here, we're going... Yes, we're going over here, we're going... How do I do this again? What am I doing? How do I... Oh, hold on, I need to get my music back because now it's playing a different song. Here we go. We're having a song, do you know this or that? Yeah, trying to be polite. Oh, trying to be held polite, however. Basic bitches, honey, coffee, and spice coffee. I mean, and hot chocolate. That's true. They are both true. Um, I was thinking Christmas, but yes, they are both true. Both accurate. I feel like hmm, I might have to try something else with my eyes next time. I thought I'd try something different. I've done some cool graphic liner before. Um, found out that this eyeliner pen sucks, so I'll find another one. I need to do my eyebrows differently too. I've got really quoted eyes, so anyway, you guys don't care. <laughs> hey boys, can I just talk about my makeup for a second? Because like, <laughs> I can't help myself. What have you guys got planned for the weekend? I'm going to start wrapping it up soon, but we can talk about the weekend first. Of course. What have I got planned? Oh, I'm doing some filmy stuff on Saturday. Um, there's a um, a makeup artist on set for a short film that was being filmed by a couple of filmies around here, and um, they are refilming some scenes and they're doing some promo photos and things. So they've asked me to come back to do the makeup again. So that'd be fun. Um, a full day of hair and makeup out of my Saturday I'm not getting paid and I don't really care about it anymore but that's fine so I can put in my resume so that I can say hey look what I did so it is what it is hopefully they'll be done soon I think they're getting sick of it too so <laughs> it's all around does a pale pink work for my eye Ooh. I don't know I've tried pale, I've tried some pinky things before, it doesn't look great. Maybe if I get the right palette, the right formula. Maybe. I can try it. I'm open to trying things. Should I keep experimenting and being creative with my makeup on stream just for shits and geeks? What do we think? I'm tempted to. After doing it tonight, I just kind of went, oh, I guess we're going with this look. <laughs> Date to the cinema and food. Ah, oh, so fun. What are you going to watch? School starting soon. It's kind of annoying. Oh, yeah. On the bright side, school's not forever. So that's good. Tinkering, cleaning, setting up my off-road car. Ooh, that'd be fun. I love tinkering. I just, <laughs> I just fixed my um, shower head the other day. It's fun, I love that stuff. A haunting in Venice, what's that about? I mean, is it self-explanatory? I assume it's self-explanatory. I've never heard of it, so I'm like, oh, what's that? <laughs> Something I probably wouldn't watch. Are you going to watch so she can be like, oh, I'm scared, and you can be like, I'll protect you. Is that what's going on? Is this, is this what's happening here, Lego? Hmm? may make your blue eyes pop, but hey, what do I know, know <laughs> about makeup? Very little to nothing. I'm open to it. I don't know if a pale pink would do. Maybe a oh, maybe a darker pink. I know black and dark colors tend to work really well. It's her choice, but also yes. <laughs> so a bit of A, bit of B, hey. <laughs> oh, that's going to be so fun for you, little Lego. What food are you eating? Where are you gonna go? Are you gonna get burgers? Are you gonna get pizza? Are you gonna get chocolate? Are you gonna get like chocolate fondue? I'm a sucker for chocolate fondue and, and fruit. Mm. 
melted chocolate and fruit. Whoever thought of that is a genius. Purple and blue. Okay. Next stream, I'll try a light pink. Stream after that, we'll do a purple and blue. Don't do purple and blue together. I have done purple and green. What was that for? Actually, I've done pinky stuff before. I wonder if I kept it on my Instagram or not. Let's jump into Peter Tiffany's Instagram, shall we? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. No, damn it. Okay, Lego. Blue blending into purple. Near my hose. Near my nose. So blue into purple. Oh, I can't say my idea will work. I don't know anything about that stuff. Well, you know what? I'm here to be your experiment with makeup. <laughs> Or, question, quince with pale or with, you know, a pink? Do you just want pink on the eyes? Do you want like a dark and light pink or just light pink? Because I can just do pink as my thing and then I can go ahead with pink. What lips should I do with pink? Lego, what lips should I do with blue and purple? Because sometimes a nice neutral uh, lip looks better with the funky fancy eyes but definitely varies I just need to have red hair so that's my oh oh e e that's my purple and green let me see if I can turn this brightness down <laughs> let's try that again Come on, focus, you can do it. Okay, whatever. This was green and pink. Well, like green and neutral, I did like a little Tinkerbell looking thing. That one was cute. And this was my favorite. I had to, I'm like, I have red hair, I gotta do this. But those dark colors tend to really make my eyes pop. Where's another? <laughs> I had way too much fun with this look. Let's see if I can get it to... And that one. But that one had like a... It was black around with a pink lid. It's not the nicest looking look, but... Yeah, anyways. <laughs> Do my own Sims makeup. Pink fading to white for eyes, okay. That she said I dated her before. <laughs> I kind of miss my red hair. Actually, I was looking into rose gold hair. I've been thinking about it. I'm like, do I go rose gold? Does it actually look good on me or am I just bored? You know? Am I trying to convince myself that it's gonna look good on me or <laughs> is it gonna wash me out and look really bad? A red lip? Okay. So blue to purple with a red lip. Bright, dark red. Many questions. And pink on the outside to white in the middle? Or should it go pink to white in the outside? Quince. I'm excited for this. I'm actually really excited to play. Because <laughs> normally I sit there and I stare at my palette. Look, I'll, while Quince, while you're thinking of white on the outside or on the inside and what color lipstick I should have because I've got brown I've got pink red I can make colors I've got this weird like gray looking one too um but I'll I'll show you my eyeshadow palette <laughs> what do you feel in quince you are my creative director right now. 
It's just makeup. I can take it off. <laughs> One sec. Like, <laughs> take it off? I mean... <laughs> you design outfits for my lady friends all the time. I love that. Alright, for reference. This is what we're working with. Now, I hate this palette. If you ever find this Morphe palette... This Morphe palette... Don't buy it. There's a better brand, I'm sure. Um, they're really hard to work with. But that's what I'm wearing on my eyes today. So I've got colors if you want colors um pink and white keep the lip to a nude color okay so i've got that one i've also got this this one's fun lots of glitters more on the neutral side but i got a couple of pinks in there oh do you want a pink shimmer in there or nah it doesn't really show up that well on stream and my favorite palette that was, it was it only went through once and i'm so sad um it wasn't made ever again so i'm <coughs> holding on to this as long as i can you can see my light color it's already hitting the pan which means you can see a little bit of silver at the bottom of it it's hard to see because it's right next to the light but uh, I can't show you. But these glitters are very, very, very sparkly. <laughs> Why do I know this? <laughs> Quince, look, I'm going to embarrass myself online, okay? Just for you. Just to show you that you can't point me wrong because I like playing and experimenting with makeup and it's very hard to embarrass me when it comes to makeup. <laughs> it's play. And I'm curious, like you're gonna give me colors and things that I probably haven't tried on myself because I'm, I don't know how to feel about trying something new or whatnot, where is it? We're going here, and we're going here, going uploads, all right, where are we, where are we, oh I remember this, this is for school. We're sidetracking a little bit, but that was so fun for me. <laughs> I had to be a clown for drama. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was fun. I should do a Halloween makeup. Anywho, that's not what we're looking for. I'm looking for my embarrassing photo so Quince doesn't feel like he can direct me wrong. And can just start throwing color names at me and say good luck. <laughs> because I'll accept that too. Are you ready for the most embarrassing photo of me on the internet? One of the many. Legit, my friend Natasha has me in a phone as straight guy nose makeup. <laughs> I think, honestly, it's a great skill to have. You're speaking to me, a lad who dyed my hair black to try and impress a girl I had no chance with. We've all been there. We've all done things like that. There you go, Quince. Let it load up. Just throw colors at me and I'll play. <laughs> I, I'm really... It actually looks like a sim. You know those sims, um... Let me turn the brightness up just a smidge. That was all eyeshadow, because I was bored, so I did like a butterfly looking thing on my face. 
I'm so edgy and so cool. <laughs> so by all means, throw colors at me and I'll, I'll play. I have better skills and techniques and uh, tools than I did back then. But, um... God, what throwbacks. Whatever. <laughs> Jumped off an 18 foot root to root roof <laughs> to impress someone. The only person impressed was the hospital staff that I didn't break anything. I'm also very impressed, Lego. How did you manage that? That's amazing. <laughs> Oh yeah, Quince. Um. Oh yeah, throw colors at me. It's fine, completely fine. <laughs> I do that stuff. I've done things like that. What did I do? I don't think mine was that dramatic. Oh, I really wanted to dye my hair red because um, a guy I liked said that he liked red-haired girls. And I wasn't allowed to because it was high school. And my mom's like, you're not allowed to dye your hair. And I wasn't allowed to dye my hair. So I didn't dye my hair all of high school. Which is actually a good thing because I wanted to get black hair with blue highlights. Which would have looked really cool. I'm completely biased on that. But I think it would have looked cool. And I wasn't allowed to dye my hair, and I was very offended. They've still got a reference photo, because I was like, I really want to dye my hair like this. Bye, 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 bye. Facebook was sadly my um, diary for quite some time. <laughs> Probably should go through and clear that at some point. Oh well, it's not that bad. Just stupid teen stuff. Rubber bones and no one to tuck and roll. Fair enough, also impress a lady. It's always the way. Pink to white for your eyes. Done. As to Lippy, like I suggested, nude. Whatever color that is for Lippy, and I trust him as I don't know any better. We'll go in nude with the pink to white. Can do. Where's my hair? I mean, it's on my head, obviously. Where's my hair color reference that I really wanted? I swear it's near here. Memes, 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 more memes. Was it near here maybe? Here you are. I just checked my meds dispenser. Why the last three days were still in their spaces? Like, am I gonna start having to put morning and night med checks? <laughs> You're all good. These are the colors that I wanted to dye my hair and my mum wouldn't let me. Black with that like bluey, looks more green on the camera, but it's like a bright blue. Bluey aqua turquoise. You didn't forget, so why are they still there? Why, Lego? Why? Hmm? Oof. What on earth? Oh. I can do swatches now? Wow, look. Shiny. Actually, is this gonna work? Oh no, not really. Damn. 
Oh, I can see it. Oh, it's very subtle. Oh, I like it though. It's highlight for your face. Wow. Mm. So shiny. Taking today's country bluff on these. Yeah, no, don't catch up. You just continue. Pick up where you've left off. Or maybe choose this colour. We're Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff is yellow and black. That's what my character's house is. But the eyeliner just kept going for fancies. <laughs> I was going to go a red lip and then I thought maybe I'll try brown, but the brown didn't turn out so well, so I put some red over it. And now it's turned into this colour. Not bad. I usually go with more neutral colors. This is my go-to palette for most makeup looks. And I only use this color, this color, and this color. They're my main ones. That's what I normally wear on stream. Winged eye? No. Winged eye you can't get right. Winged eye is a pain. It takes a long time. I still haven't perfected it. Although I'm break bringing it back to I need a good eyeliner pen. Once you have a good pen, it makes it a lot easier to practice and a lot easier to play with. The pen I used for these, I had to go back over it with a pencil to smooth out the lines a little bit more because it didn't work very well. Yellow doesn't look great on my face. It's not great with my eyes. I'm aware of that. It just works with the character. <laughs> And I felt like putting the yellow white again. This yellow was an absolute pain to use and I have to layer it on like crazy to get any sort of color out of it. But uh, hey, we made it, I did it. I do like it though. When I was doing my Slytherin character, I did a lot of green, a lot of green and white eye colors looks. If I can theme it to the game, I will. But if I can't, which most of them I can't. I just stick with what I'm used to. <laughs> stick with my neutrals because they tend to... They're uh, consistent. I can show you one time I helped a friend, but I don't know that. Be too much and also involves another human, so yeah. Completely fine. I, honestly, growing up, I was in denial that I even liked makeup. I would play with it in secret. I was determined to be a tomboy. I was determined to have that label of tomboy. I think what people call pick me these days, I, I, as much as I don't want to admit it, I think I was a pick me in high school. I only hang out with the boys, although I genuinely actually just prefer to hang out with the boys. <laughs> Especially in high school. Now that I'm older, I'm like, yeah, some girls would be cool to hang out with. But just gotta find ones that you click with, you know? And then it end up just being people. It's not necessarily gendered, right? <sighs> people are hard to find, man, you know? In the real life, in the nearbys, you know? Know what I mean? But hey, it's life. It's a shame that I was a pick me. <laughs> but you know, the first step is admitting it and acknowledging it. Um, it's the first step to healing. I scroll us in the corner of the library. <laughs> it's that different. Yeah. No, I hang out with all the nerds. It was great. I loved hanging out with them because they all got to debate things that I didn't know what they were debating about, but it was really interesting to watch and listen and learn. 
debating games, debating game techniques. Talking about new things they learned in science that day. It was fun, I enjoyed it. There were the geeky nerds, not the nerdy nerds. You know what I mean? Teacher helped me read a few days of the week, which I'm grateful. Oh, that's so fantastic! I love it when there's some teachers out there that are like, I just, like, I'll take time out of my day. I'll help you. I was a history nerd. You know who else is a history nerd? Cinnamon. Cinnamon's a weird one. Not in a bad way. It's like, if you talk to him, he's... And he'd bring up the right topics. He's the biggest nerd, but he was also like <laughs> top of the food chain to some degree. <laughs> it's just, it's not, it's not right. You know what I mean? <laughs> you think of the nerd, you think of the one that's like, um, I mean, look like, at you, you've got a good point. Um, you both like writing. Both into like game writing, more so specifically. History buffs. Damn. <laughs> he was also in the UK for a bit. Yeah, wow, wild when he was younger. Did I ever show you my first year at high school? I don't think so. I don't think you did. Why? <laughs> I think you are. <laughs> Absolutely, Koo. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. I'll be heading off shortly. Eighty-seven, baby. I was gonna comment, but I don't. I don't think you want the reference. <laughs> it's a good age to be. It's a good, I think it's a good time to be born. You got to fully enjoy, you got to fully enjoy the 90s. To some degree, I actually remember. I remember some of it. I was going to say you're nine years older than us. I was say it's almost a whole decade, but it's not. It's not quite a decade. I'll show you the photo, but ignore 10 lines of all those socks on the farm. That's totally fine. Ah, uh, where do you post it? Lego! <laughs> no, we appreciate you. I love having you here. You're so fun. Where to post? Where, to, where would you feel? <gasps> I actually really want a rocking chair. They're the best. I'm an old grandma at heart. I really am. <laughs> um, Quince, you can DM it if you don't want everyone to see that photo. Beardless Lego? What's this new girl done to you? Are you okay? Is everything okay? <laughs> is, this, is this a cry for help? Blink twice if you need help. Pix videos is okay, yeah, for sure. It's also warming my heart to see everyone using the Finch app um, on Discord. It's really sweet. I hope it's helping TBC. I know it's helping Froggy.
amusing and scary and everything. What? See you guys typing. Lego. If I look long enough, I can see the similarities. <laughs> it's it's not that bad. It just, it just took me by surprise. I've only ever seen you with a beard. Good without a beard. You look good both ways. Oh, you're a rare one. You're a lucky one. First year at high school, the old 2000s enjoy one of the humans, and yes, there was a few lady missies I liked, but I could never ask out or anything. Oh, spiffing. Katie Lego. Oh, I see the tan you're talking about. <laughs> so interesting to see you wearing sandals. Is that sandals that everyone's wearing in the front? Not everyone. You'd be sent home. <laughs> Got the higher education stuff. I still look like a nice human today. Oh, yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's not bad, Chris. <laughs> You're funny. Honestly, I wouldn't even notice the tan. The tan line unless you um mentioned it. Roman sandals. And the sandals don't bother me either, it's just weird. It's just weird for me to see in a school photo that you can have sandals. It's wild to me. Sandra, oh, you're reading the names. It is an unfortunate name. It is an unfortunate name. I've literally only gotten taller. I I'm I was looking at your toddler one going were you a toddler? <laughs> you weren't just in a time machine, just shrunk down. <laughs> Boys had to wear brown Roman sandals or black lace up shoes if you had money. See, today when I went to school it was strictly black leather shoes. It is weird. It's not bad. It's just like, I don't have toddler me. Do I have toddler me? I've got a couple of photos of me that sit on my desk whenever I'm feeling like I'm talking negatively to myself or about myself. I guess this is the most that looks like me. The rest of them I don't know how much. This is preschool. Oh, I'll go this way. Used to love that jumper. Oh, but you just look like a, a bigger version of toddler you. <laughs> Again, not a bad thing, just different. 
You wouldn't miss Miss Sandra. She was a tough lady. Oh, really? Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Uh, I was way too shy at school. Yeah. It's not creepy at all. I remember our drug teacher, Mr. Sava, getting. Whoa, whoa, whoa! We're talking about like, oh my god, when I was a toddler, it looked like just like a mini version of me now. How cute! I still remember when my teacher, when I was when I was doing geography, um, he like totally got arrested. But like, oh my god, this photo that Quinch just posted, oh my god, so cute! I remember that my teacher was a really like big pot seller to students. Yeah, it was wild. But like, oh my god. <laughs> that would have been an exciting lesson though. I mean, I would much rather be the kid in that lesson than the kid that was told the rumors afterwards. Oh, well, told the story. It wasn't a rumor. Told the story afterwards, you know what I mean? Used to meditate. <laughs> what a genius. Genius. Big brain thinker. I'm just going to meditate, guys. Just uh, be quiet for a little bit. <laughs> I don't see much change in me. Why is that a bad thing? Definitely not a bad thing. So many people. <laughs> he was a great team social. I wonder why. <laughs> I guess I very rarely wear shorts. That's fair enough. Those are very short shorts, too. Just look at everyone around. It's just crazy. So different to when I went to school. I feel like I'm making you guys sound so old. <laughs> you're not. You're not. <laughs> I do unfortunately have to head off to bed, though. But I have. I, I don't want to keep chatting. <laughs> I really enjoyed our time together, but I must bid thee farewell. Yeah, yeah, Quince, yep. I think you used her middle name too, and so they got a first and last, but yes. Thank you very much, Ligger. I always appreciate you guys hopping in. I'll finish this with Quince quickly. And then we'll wrap up proper. Proper good like. Yeah, did you? <laughs> She's a tall girl. It's always funny. It's always funny looking back on photos and going, I had such a big crush on this person. Wild. <laughs> Wonder how they are today. <laughs> Childhood primary school crushes. How fun. <laughs> I feel so safe. Oh, I'm glad. That's totally fine. And if you ever feel uncomfortable having it there, you can always delete it too, so. Hey, 
<laughs> exactly, Lego. Obviously. <laughs> All right, my lovely people. Well, thank you so so much for your support. Thank you for being here for hanging out this long. I was actually planning to start wrapping up about forty minutes ago, <laughs> but we got carried away as we do. I really enjoy chatting with you guys. I hope you have a beautiful beautiful weekend. I'll be back on Twitch next Tuesday. Um, for Fable. I'm like, what am I game I'm playing now? We're going to continue Fable next Tuesday on Twitch, and then I'll see you guys back here on YouTube on Thursday for some more Hogwarts Legacy, unless we end up playing another game. I think people have been enjoying Hogwarts though. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see how we go. Um, yeah. Absolutely, Quinns. Anytime. Have a beautiful, wonderful weekend. Look after yourselves. You're important. Don't forget to take your meds if you have any to take. If you don't have any to take, just drink some water and lots of it. And look after yourself. You're important. You're more important than I think you probably realize. I'll see you guys next week. Mwah. This was really fun. We hope you liked it too. Seems like we've just begun when suddenly we're through. Goodbye, goodbye, good friends, goodbye. Cause now it's time to go. But hey, I say, well that's okay. Cause we'll see you very soon, I know. Very soon, I know. Goodbye, goodbye.